Hey guys, welcome to this week's stream. Uh, I hope everyone is doing well. Chat looks pretty active. We've got a bit of a bumper stream this week. We're going to have uh, one, two, three, four keyboard unboxings, plus the PC Kini we're going to build today. We're going to be looking at GMK Mizu as well for the uh, for the first time today. Uh, and we've also got a giveaway. So yeah, really, really looking forward to today's stream, guys. Uh, let's just do a quick run through of who's in chat. Uh, Acidic Pure got first, so thank you very much dude and well done for that. Uh, that was uh, quite early, 25 minutes before the stream, nice. Uh, we've got Vogon PT, we've got uh, Konio Tor as well. Oh, lots of chat going on. Um, who else have we got? Who else have we got? We've got Pingu here as well, although he's just run off to get a kebab, nice. 
could just eat a kebab actually. I had pizza earlier on, I could just eat a kebab. Uh, Acidic Pure, thank you very much for the tier one sub. That's three months now, three month streak. Thank you very much, dude. Appreciate that. Um, is my net dying or is it buffering? I think it's alright. Uh, zero dropped frames, 6,000 kilobits a second bitrate. Should be all good. Should be all fine. Jono Warren's here as well. Good evening. <coughs> uh, AKB James as well. Which you might have seen today that he put up a bit of an announcement on uh, on Geekhack earlier on today. So if you haven't seen GMK Alchemy, go check it out. Um, the interest check has started for that. James, if you want to post a link in chat, feel free. Uh, we'll be running it through my store, Prototypist, uh, in the EU. So looking for North America and other vendors at the minute. But uh, yeah, definitely excited to talk about that later on. Tuxkey's here as well. Uh, Meister Grin Seppo, uh, fastest bot EU West. Has it already pinged? Wow, that pinged really quickly. One Creative Minds here as well. Thank you very much, dude, for your uh, your graphs and uh, sorry, not your graphs, your uh, what's the word for looking for assets that you sent me for uh, for the J01 giveaway, uh, the raffle tickets, which are still on sale for one more day, guys. We've sold over 2,100 now, so uh, hopefully we'll get close to that 2,500 mark in the next 24 hours. And really, really looking forward to see who wins that on the, uh, the top clack show on the 26th. Uh, Jewel M says, Happy Holidays, fam. Thank you very much. Happy Holidays to you as well. Undercover Brother is here. Nebulant 2. Coucher says, Damn, I'm almost late. Good evening anyway. You're not late. We're just starting. We're just starting. Up. Anarchy's here as always. Anarchy, Merry Christmas, my dude. It's good to see you on, on stream. Fax is here as well. Mr. Stab Daddy himself. Uh, woo, that mouse pad. Yeah, it just came in the other day. Uh, I think I got it on... Friday, I think, from, from Mike. Uh, it came with a box of other stuff. So I got this, I got one of the um, Rocco's Modern Life desk mats, the yellow one, uh, and I've got one of the boards from Mike that will be unboxing, or two boards from Mike that will be unboxing shortly on today. Uh, <coughs> uh, Jay, your sound is louder. Yes, Neb, it is, it's fixed. I hope that's all good for you. Um, Banthership says, hi Jay, how are you today? I'm good, tired but good. I've been doing lots of DIY around the house today, running around doing odd jobs, so I'm a bit tired, but I'm ready to uh, to go through the build stream, do the giveaway, do all these unboxings. I've got a massive pile at the side of me. You can't see it, but it's a huge pile of stuff to unbox, so I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, A1A is here, good evening. Vinan, making me take a break from binging the Expanse, so rude, but welcome, I guess. Uh, the Expanse is good. I'm still back on season three, I think, so uh, I'm way behind. Uh, do I only use ISO? No, I do have uh, ANSI boards, I do have GIST boards, I have 40% uh, which are neither, I have all sorts of different layouts, but I do prefer ISO, ISO is my preferred layout, but there's no right or wrong answers in that, whatever works for you, works for you. Daft Profit here as well, good to see you. Um, <laughs> George69 says, please consider GMK Alchemy, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, I want to see alchemy with lighter backgrounds in the renders. Yeah, we'll do some more renders uh, in the um, in the in the long term. So in the next couple of weeks and months, we'll have plenty more renders, different boards as well, different layouts, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, um, is that the Polycarb exclusive six point five e six point five? Yeah, it's the Polycarb e six point five here. We built it on stream a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. So uh, Vorno uh, has actually found something. Um, so I put uh, a post on the uh, whatever date that was, third of November, uh, onto the giveaway command, and no one has pinged it since then. So Vorno, you have actually won a prize. Not the giveaway for the mainstream today, but you've actually won a prize because that's been sat there waiting uh, for someone to actually find it. So if you reach out to me on Discord, I will uh, I will give uh, give you something. But you're the first person to use that command in. Well, in more than a month, in over six weeks. So um, there you go. Well done, dude. Uh, you do get a prize. You're the first person to use it. Reach out to me on uh, Discord. Drop me a ping, and I'll get in touch with you afterwards, uh, and I'll send you your prize. It's nothing major. It's just a tiny little thing. But I, it was just fun because no one had used that command in ages. And I thought, well, I'm just going to put something on there and, until then. Uh, so there we go. So well done for finding that. Uh, ironically, you find it when we've got a giveaway, and I haven't updated it for the giveaway. And that's because today's giveaway is a bit of a surprise. But you will find out later on in the stream what it is uh, and today's giveaway on stream is, is quite a good giveaway prize if I do say so myself I'm pretty impressed with it and pretty happy with it so looking forward to getting there as well um, 
Yeah, he outplayed everyone. Yeah, yeah. I mean, as I say, I, I literally put that out there on the third of November, and no one's used the command, so no one's found it. And as soon as someone did find it, I said that I would uh, uh, send them something. It's only something small. It's just a tiny little fun. Um, but the actual giveaway for today is, uh, is a lot bigger than uh, that giveaway uh, and we will be doing that later on and anyone in chat has got a chance to win that so it's just going to be available to, uh, to stream chat basically. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> remember, remember the 3rd of November. Yeah. Is the giveaway a prototypist mug? No, it's not, but you already get a prototypist mug, uh, OCM. You've already got one. It's not on the way yet, but I have got one here for you, and Petrov as well. Um, Petrov, if you're watching, you do owe me that other mug, though. It's a trade, remember, for you. You do owe me that other mug. Thank you. I really like this desk mat. I wasn't sure when I ordered it. There was a brightly coloured version, which I wanted to go with this, but that was out of stock. And then I saw the black and white version. I thought, do you know what? why not just buy it and uh, it came the other day and it was really nice I did get another one at the same time which is the uh, Rocco's Modern Life yellow one um, not quite sure where it's going to go with but hopefully we'll find something to put it with so there we go okay so <clears throat> without much further ado um, I'm going to unbox the first thing today. Now, I have got two Mechanisk boards from Leandron that I'm going to unbox today. Uh, the first one is here. Uh, this is how it came. Slightly damaged box, but there was like four boxes in the package, so uh, uh, they were all pressed against each other. And then once we've unboxed this and the other Mechanisk board, we'll then look at the NK65, then we'll look at GMK Mizu, then we'll look at the number two, and then we'll do the polycarbonate canoe build, which of course we'll have to unbox as well. But uh, this is the first one. This is uh, the new Mechanisk board. Now, there's a Type X and a Clipe T here, but I'm not sure which is which. So we'll see as we open it which one uh, is which. But love the branding on the box. How nice is all this with the Mechanist logos on. And depending on which side of the box you look at as well, it shows you different things. So oh, it's just the top and the front actually. I think the base has got something on it as well. Yeah, so it's just got a Chinese character. It's quite nice. It's quite nice. GMK Alchemy would be a good fit. Yeah, maybe, maybe it would, yeah. Hi Audio Slave, thank you very much for joining. We're just unboxing the first board. Well, they all came in the same box, uh, so we'll we'll see what this one is, but let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. Oh, little note. Thanks for the support. Oh, bless bless Leandron. He's such a nice guy. Uh, Leandron, if you're watching, I know you're on holiday right now, but thank you very much for the little notes that you send every time you send the board over. It's really really sweet of you. So thank you very much for that. Okay, so this looks like it's the ultramarine colour. Uh, here we go, guys. And this is the Type X, you can tell because it's got the slanted back on here. The end is nice and smooth. The colour's great. How, how nice is that colour? That's probably really accurate to real life there on my screen right now, so probably fairly close for you. It's very blue, very green. Comes with foam in the bottom as well. So uh, take the foam out. Now you can see it's got the little badge in here as well. And then it's four point tray mount system, very similar to the Noxry T60, which we've had on stream before. But it's actually got these little rubber bump ons here, which will add some flexibility and some movement. And then the foam insert looks like it works for uh, both the uh, the new clipper and for the T60 as well. In terms of the board, it's got a nice little side profile finger placement to lift up boards there. I do like this back angle. This is really, really nice. I do like boards that do that. But other than that, just a standard 60, but that's really good. Packaging's nice. Box is good. It fits nicely in there. It's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. Plenty of packaging here. I assume you have one and then a PCB on here and then that on the top. Uh, Leandron's already sent me PCBs across for that, so there we go. That's the first board out of the way. Let me know what you think, guys. I think that looks pretty good. That colours with those dampened posts. That colour is really nice. Ultramarine is lovely. I have got a silver one as well, and I will have to send one to Brian. So, um, which do I send to Brian? The silver one or the ultramarine one? Hmm. Hmm. Not sure. I'm not sure. That colour is real nice. The colour is amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's really, really good. 
keep the ultramarine, send in the silver. <laughs> <coughs> send in the silver, fair enough, yeah, and we'll, we'll, we'll see. Okay, the second mechanist board, so this is the same box as the last one, uh, but it is the uh, the new clipper, is this one. Thank you, Harge, I really like the desk mat as well, it's really nice. Silver will go with many more boards, I think you mean many more key sets, sorry, but yes. Oh, so this one's got a PCB and plate in it. Uh, so a fixed ISO plate, so clearly this one was meant for me. And then we've got a Wilbur uh, WT60D PCB. Nice flexible PCB, there we go. I must say, I've got to say, I do love Wilbur's logo. Um, it actually reminds me of something else, and I can't quite figure out what it is. There's something else from a video game, I think, that this reminds me of, but I don't know what it is, but either way, I really love that logo. Again, same nice boxing stuff. Uh, more foam and here we go uh, hardware so we've got different bump ons and some screws uh, so the interesting thing about this one is that these are used as mounting points so you can change it from a standard 60 tray to a four point tray mount system and some more bump ons two packs of bump ons Here we go guys, this is the new clipper board here. Let's take it out of the packaging actually. Where's the other two? Oh, so this is actually fully sealed as well. So this actually is uh, completely sealed. The Andron's been treating himself to a nice new uh, plastic heater machine. So there we go guys, this is the, uh, the new clipper. Very nice, very tasty. This is a very dark grey. Um, I love that side profile on this board. And the mountains on the back are still there. Custom foam inserts again. This one's uh, got two foam inserts, so it's a bit deeper. I'm not sure if that's by design or just by sheer happenstance. And as you can see, these guys here, these actually unscrew so you can take these in or out. So you can choose whether you have just a four point mounting system or whether you have uh, the additional two for a standard 60 as well. They just screw straight in. There we go. So that looks really good. So two boards I'm really excited to build. These will be on build streams in the new year. This grey is something else. This grey is so nice. Um, yeah. This is really good. This is, that's nicer than I was expecting, is that great? That and the Ultramarine are perfect. Um, I think the Andron must have changed menus as well because this Anno is way better than anything he's had in the past as well. Uh, either that or he's worked really hard with them to get you know a new quality standard. So there we go. Uh, I built a load of boards this year and the Clipper team might be my favourite uh, despite being simple tray mount. Yeah, they're, they're really nice. I built a Clipper not too long back. It was just the standard Clipper. It was in bright blue, this kind of blue. Uh, in fact, it's on the shelf somewhere behind here. I think it's that one just there with minimal on. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I really like the boards. Big USB allows for more PCB flexibility. Forgivable on a tray mount. Absolutely, yes. So the USB port being quite larger is good for that. <clears throat> Don't those little protrusions on the outside act as mounting points? Yes, but if you think about where the PCB is going to rest, so let me uh, let me show you. So the PCB is going to rest on these little mounting points here to an extent, as you said. But the actual lines for the flexibility run here and here. So when you press in the middle and the typing experience on the middle is going to be very much more flexible compared to the outside edges. Um, that's just the way the PCB is designed. So if you See if I lay this in here, try and show you through the uh, plastic packaging. But the split is just there. Not sure how visible that is. Let me take this out and show you properly. Okay, so if we mounted it like so, you see that the uh, the cut is here, so all of this area will flex in the middle, whereas these will be firmer because I'll rest on the little nibbins that you mentioned there. There we go. Okay, that's two boards down. Not bad for 20 minutes. I do like unboxing things for the first time.
Both of the boards, yes. Uh, those look incredible. They look great, right? They look way better than uh, some of the old stuff that the engine has done in the past. I'm really, really happy with these. Uh, I'll put things back in the right order. Um, Leandrin's game, uh, just in terms of his boxing quality and everything else, has you know, improved massively over the past couple of years and he really wants to improve more and he's such a nice guy um, that I can completely understand why people want to support him and his product because well, this is just a nice experience, just really nice experience. What's the giveaway? We'll get there soon, don't worry Janky Wender, there is a giveaway. Uh, I'll drop a hint now, it's a board, it's not, you know, a small prize like uh, Vorno won earlier on, it's an actual prize, it's board. You haven't seen it yet on stream, but you will see it at some point on stream and then it'll be given away. So uh, yeah, keep watching. Um, <clears throat> my Clipper T's WT60D was ever so slightly bowed, is that one? No, but my first one was, so I've had two from Leandro and that's the second one I've had. The first one I had just had a tiny bow to it, but as soon as I put the plate onto it and soldered it all up, it pulled it all nice and straight anyway. Uh, is that the R3 Clipper, the one that is sold on 1UP? It is, yes, but you can always get it from Mechanisk, which is the EU, web well, not EU, but European website, let me be clear, European website as well, so there we go. <coughs> Way pinged. Uh, okay, ping, 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 okay. Uh, yeah, the boxes are amazing. Yeah, they're good. Would it start with a J? It's not a J. No, it's not a J. Uh, someone's getting treated. NK65. Vinan says NK65 as well. Haven't seen it as yet. No, not on stream. You might have seen it um, off stream. In fact, you probably have. You've probably seen it talked about before. We have talked about it on Top Clack. Uh, so, actually, we've just unboxed the Clipper T and we did the Type X as well. So, we've done both of those. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the NK65. Bet it starts with a T. A T. What boards start with a T? Hmm. But anyway, this, uh, this is a nice little package that came from Mike. Uh, along with some other stuff which we'll take a look at shortly as well. Uh, giveaway, you just need to be here. Um, you might need to be active in chat because that's just the way that the bot works when I use it. In fact, I'll, let me set that up now. Um, but yeah, just the way that the uh, the giveaway bot works, uh, you just have to be uh, in chat. So as if you've pinged within the past five minutes, let me extend that out. Let me make it. Let me make it eight minutes. So anyone who has typed into chat in the last eight minutes will get uh, entry, basically. Um, so right now I can see that J420, uh, Nebulant, Vogon. Um, oh, haven't, mods are eligible as well for this one, Geo. You'll be happy to know. So there we go. Um, it does put Nightbot into there, though, as well. So if Nightbot wins, uh, we'll redo it as well. Uh, this is actually Copper. Um, my camera decides to focus, it's actually copper. Uh, it's just a desk toy, so if I put it down and you'll... It's just a little desk toy. I just like to spin it around every now and again. There we go. I've had it a few months now. It's really nice. Uh, so it goes, Nightbot... If, if, if Nightbot wins, I get to keep it. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Osha Puffer has donated 100 bits. Thank you very much for that. That's really kind of you. Thank you, dude. Appreciate that. Lurkers get on your keeps. Yeah, well, I'll give people plenty of notice before they need to type in chat. You don't need to put it in chat just yet. So if you're only putting in chat just to say hello right now, well, the giveaway will be uh, will be later on. And I'll give you plenty of notice. I'll give you more than eight minutes notice to be able to to join. Uh, Captain Schwartz says, I love Top Black. You're one of our longest supporters, man. You definitely do. So thank you for that. Uh, Mechanics don't have the Clipper T for sale. Only one up. Are you sure? Let me take a look. Let me take a look. Hmm. Hmm. Clipper T's on the store. Ah, it's just out of stock. Okay, I think it's just out of stock at the minute. Um, yeah, Leandrin may have more in stock in the new year, but uh, perhaps they're just out of stock at the minute. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> we're going to be uh, we're going to be doing the giveaway later on on the stream, but uh, we have got the NK65 to unbox, then GMK Mizu, then a brass number two, uh, and then we'll move on to the uh, uh, the canoe, the polycarbonate canoe, which I'll be building with GMK laser and a carbon fiber plate and laser on switches, which I've got the prototypes for. But this is uh, unboxing the NK65. So first thing, uh, first things first, just open the box. Once we open the box. You're greeted with a nice little K 
carry case. At first I thought this was like a switch or something because it's very, very reminiscent of my switch carry case. But these are really nice. How how nice is that? Even the little logo on that is really, really nice. How good is that? Nice firm zip, thick rubber on the zip. It's a really classic case, right? How cool is that case? It's really nice. Solid as well, you can tell it's really firm. It's never, you know, nothing's gonna get damaged inside it. Okay, so. Box is falling over inside of me. Okay, so first thing I notice comes with stabilizers. Those look like a uh, plate mount cherry. They have plate mount cherry stabilizers. It comes with some screws and it comes with a PCB, I think. Sure. Yeah, PCB. There you go. You can see here, guys, that this is. Uh, Yankar designs, there we go. The stickers come undone, but there's Yankar's little ducko leg of them. Yankar's a good friend of mine, I need more of those stickers. Let's take a quick look at the PCB. Well, the first things first is it's a lovely matte black. Novel keys, Yankar's logo, designed in Cambridge by Yankar. There we go. Uh, an NK65 version 1.1, that's really nice. Uh, as you can see, it is hot swap, and it's got perky RGB LEDs as well. It's looking pretty good. USB-C. Focus this camera off, please. There you go, USB-C. Single layout, so it's NC only. Um, and as I said before, it is plate mount stabilizers, not PCB mount ones. But it looks pretty tasty. Uh, functional, thank you very much for the 10 months of resub. I'm saying good afternoon, Jay. Good afternoon to you, good sir. Okay, then we've got some nice little Velcro straps here. And then we have the board itself. Oh wait, is there something else in here? Two nice rubber strips cut to size. So these will be the feet for the board. Uh, there's two of those in there, so there we go. And then here we go, guys. We've got the uh, the board itself. Okay. So it isn't screwed together out of the case, but you can see top mount plate. Are they riveted on? No, they're heck. They're Torx keyed on. They're Torx keys. Torx screws to hold that in place. Got to be a fan of Torx. The uh, the plate is aluminium. Case looks good, corners look nice and sharp. Pretty happy with that. Anodization looks quite good as well. In terms of the base, you've got a lot of different supports for the PCB. It's going to have quite a firm typing feel. Uh, tray mount effectively because you screw the the, uh, the plate down onto the post on the base. Excuse the fingerprints, it's really cold as the metal, but it's warm in the office. That's just. Uh, Moisture, but Novel Keys logo here across the back. It's really nice. That's where the uh, the feet fit that we talked about earlier on. USB C. So it is a seamless design as well because when this goes on top, you see that from the side it is completely seamless. It's only on the base around the edge where you see the seams. It's pretty good. Not greasy, it's just cold. Like this metal is really cold and it's really warm in here. That's what it is. So uh, if I do that you'll see that it quite quickly goes it's just where I've been holding it for a while not greasy at all just just really really cold in the office earlier on today indicator LEDs here this looks really really good for what, what was this this like 130 bucks 140 bucks something like that this is damn good for the price especially with the Yankar PCB as well very very impressed <clears throat> side profile is really close to the clipper. Yeah, it is, but it's a very different board, I'd argue. This carry case is uh, is really nice as well. Mm. 
Is it top mount or integrated? Uh, it's not an integrated plate, it's a top mounted plate, but it's, I technically call this a, a, a tray mount board. Uh, because the, uh, the 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 plate screws into the, the base, so I, I'd technically call it a, a kind of modified tray. It's going to be really to firm typing feel, uh, but that being said, it does play to hot swap strands. You're not going to have any keys, any switches falling out of your hot swap board or anything, because you're going to be pressing them really firmly in. So that's a good way of doing it. I'm excited to see what that board looks like. Apologies for your ears, there, guys. Yeah, we try to see what that feels like and sounds like when we uh, when we get that built up. Okay, and then back to looking at that lovely case. How nice is that, guys? How nice is that case? I I need to hit my cup and find out where it gets these from and offer some more for the JO2 or something like that because uh, that's really nice. Really impressed with that. Okay. Carry case is included, yeah. Uh, it comes exactly as, as you've seen there, that's exactly how it comes and exactly what you got for the money. Top mount seamless tray mount, top mount or integrated plate. It's not integrated, it's it's a, it's a top mount plate, but then the plate bottom mounts into, the, the, the plate screws up into the top half of the case, and then the plate itself screws the top half down, so you don't actually connect the top and the bottom halves to each other, apart from through the plate, if that makes sense. So yeah. <clears throat> Should have bought an NK65, right? I'm hoping it is an ISO version at some point. Uh, in fact, I would, I would love to, Mike. If you, if you're talking about this, I'd love to proxy a, uh, a, an EU version for you, and we'll, we'll sort that. So yeah. Okay, guys, that's uh, that's a few more boards un, 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 uh, unboxed. Next up, we do have a GMK Mizu. So I've had this just over a week now, and I was going to unbox it on stream last week. And I couldn't find it. I put it down somewhere. I couldn't find it. Turns out I left it in the kitchen of all places. <coughs> so, uh, so yeah, um, I found it eventually, and thought I'd just bring it onto stream this week. I'm just gonna unbox this and show you guys what it is. You've probably seen pictures of it, but uh, it's always good to see things like this on stream because I can kind of show this off a little bit. So I can kind of like tilt the cap so you can see them a bit better and all that kind of stuff. Oh wow, so it's actually more blue than I was expecting. I was not expecting it to be that blue. Okay. Let's uh, let's take a look at these keys for you guys. So here you go guys, this is just how blue they are. I was not expecting them to be this blue. Maybe showing the face camera, that's probably a bit closer to how blue they actually are. Um, yeah, really, really impressed with that. So $160 uh, with shipping to the Netherlands, paid €148 Euro plus 41 customs, so a total of €189. Euros. Yeah, we definitely need to see if we can get a, an EU proxy version next time for round 2. Uh, and maybe support ISO as well at that point. <clears throat> uh, reminds me a bit of Keyboard & Co. It's not, no, it's, it's a very different colour. Keyboard & Co is closer to this kind of teal colour, but hopefully that just highlights how blue these keycaps are. That's very, very blue. Um, I was expecting it to be a lot closer to white and just off-white, almost blue. It's a little bit loud. <clears throat> um, the white caps are really nice though. These, uh, these look quite sharp. Pretty close to minimal, I'd guess. But still really nice. Let's look at the modifiers. The modifiers are probably one of the nicest parts about this set. They're a really nice blue, uh, and the crisp white really shows up nicely on that. Uh, I don't know if it is bluer than the renders. Let me uh, let me have a look. Um, let me see. <coughs> um. I'd say it's very close to the renders, just looking at the renders I can see here. Um, let me have a look at the group by. Yeah, okay, so it, it's pretty close actually to the renders, it's not far off at all. Um, yeah, I just think in my head I'd got it that it was a little bit paler than this, but I think it looks really good. Um, still not sure what board I'm going to put it on, but uh, it definitely is a really interesting set. Uh, ISO support, so I'm happy with that, even if it's not UK. Nice little extras add-on kit there. 
yeah, considering I just got the base, I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy. He has shitloads of extras. Yeah, I think Mike's got uh, a lot of extras, yes. Of the NK65. Um, I think all the extras of Mizu, however, have sold out now, though. I don't think any of them are left in stock. Unless uh, Dixie has any left, I'm not sure. Giveaway. Well, it's through existentially yours. That's not actually linked up for the giveaway today. That was another little secret that uh, that, that Vorno uh, actually found earlier on. So I've had that message up there for months, and no one spotted it. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. Uh, so I can't show you guys this, but I've just noticed that there's design on the inside of the wrapper here, on the inside of the banderole. I don't think I've ever seen that on a keycap set before. I can't really tell what it is. I don't really want to damage the box. It looks like some kind of fish. Yin yang maybe. There's, uh, there's one light one dark. There's a, uh, a non-coloured in one on the other side. Nice. I just saw that completely by accident. Well done to Dixie, uh, Rensuya and uh, Candy Keys for that. That's a really nice set. I'm very happy with that. It's the Moonfish from Avatar, I think. Ah, okay. So I don't really follow Avatar, so yeah. Um, I'm going to check when we build with Laser later on. I'm going to check on the inside of Laser, see if there's one there. And if there is, then I'm going to do all my key sets. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Same design as on the mouse pad. Right, there we go. Gotcha. I did see the mouse pad a few minutes ago uh, whilst I was looking. Uh, where was it? I didn't realize I scrolled up that far. Yes, okay. I see what you mean. Yes, with the two um, fish and the symbol in the middle. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Cool. It was 3rd of November, uh, Coney Hotel, so I put that message up there about six weeks ago, uh, waiting for someone to find it. No one did until today, which just so happens to be a day when I'm doing another giveaway for a board. Uh, but over, uh, sorry, Vorno won a small little prize. It, it is really only something small, uh, but it's a prize nonetheless, so I'll, uh, I'll reach out to Vorno and, uh, and pass that on. Uh, and as I say, we'll do the actual giveaway later on today. So it will be on the stream at some point soon. <clears throat> okay, so we've looked at the NK65, we've looked at some clippers, uh, we've looked at a Type X, now we're going to look at this bad boy. So this is uh, not mine, sadly, this is Mike's uh, from Novel Keys, this belongs to Mike from Novel Key. Uh, this is, um, well, a key cult, as you can see. I'm not sure how well you guys can read this, but it's actually a TKL, uh, it's a number two. TKL and it's brass wing keyless. That's what it says on here. So, don't know if you guys have ever seen these forms before, but uh, effectively they just uh, fill out what. Sorry, it's really heavy to lift it up. Uh, <laughs> just fill out what, what boards inside, so I can put the same sticker on each one. So uh, let's uh, let's crack on and open this. There we go. Break the seal. I can only assume that Mike hasn't actually looked at this because the seal wasn't broken. Here we go. I must say, Kiko really, really get their branding on point here. This is a nice kind of like suede felt box. This is lovely. Uh, inside the tough, robust cardboard. And then I think, yeah, there we go. That slides out. This is how you get a 10 on the J score for boxing and branding, right? Has to be. So I just. Just so you guys can see, boxes two layers. It's actually two boxes. This one's slid inside this one. Um, really nice embossed logo on the front. <coughs> yeah. Okay, and then this is just cut to shape. Uh, two layers of nice thick felt. You guys ready to see this? Oh, you guys ready to see this? Because I think I am. Got it upside down. Let's turn that around. Oh, a nice little warning. Do not clean the brass parts with alcohol or other solvents. There we go. Uh, so this is actually Mike's board, um, Cohen's. This, this belongs to Mike from Novel Keys, not mine. Uh, he's just having me build. So this will be my first build stream in the new year. Um, but there you go guys, you can see that it's in this nice grey colour. 
gosh, I forgot how heavy these were. This is only the second one of these I've ever actually held. There you go, guys. Number two. Pretty damn good. You ready, guys, to see the base? Oh, look at that. What? That should be illegal. That should not be legal. I love this kind of like uh, edge here. Wow. M Mike is um, Mike is going to be lucky if he gets this board back. Let's just be honest. That is absolutely something else. So just some of the details on this board like this beveled edge here. This this kind of shape here is just absolutely lovely. Man, this is nice. And gosh, it's so heavy. It's so heavy. Again, just cold metal and fingers. Look at how clean the machining is around that USB port. Super, super, super nice. Wow. I'm a jealous man and I want this board. Mike. Mike, I'm really sorry, but you might not be getting this back. Um, really, really, really impressive. So I can't wait to uh, to build that up. Um, I did get another box with this, which has the PCBs and everything else in, but that's over to one side, so I'm not going to show that on stream. Um, now, you say that undercover, brother, you say that, but with a Heinebush H87A, which I have on the way, and with my own plate file cut, I can have an ISO number two. Uh, Tux Key, if you're buying this, uh, this was a commission only, but I think it was around $1,400, I think. Um, don't quote me on that, it's only what I'm going from rumours. If you want to buy one in the aftermarket, you're probably talking 2.7k. That's the kind of price that this, this board will bring. So, yeah. Um, but wow. Guys, I can't wait to do that build stream. Um, and we need to remember what, what this experience was like for the J school when it gets around to it. Okay, so let's try and uh, put this all back together. And then we can unbox the final product today, which is the, uh, the polycarbonate canoe. And then we can move on to the build. And then once we've done the build, before we do the typing test, that's when we'll talk about the giveaway. Uh, I think this was only 1400 because the commission price was done for about um, 10 boards, so you'd have to buy 10 or get 10 people to do it. And if you wanted to commission just a one-off, I think it's about $3,800. <clears throat> um, but man, I'm incredibly impressed with that board. Wow. Worth group buy, not market price. I, I, I'm i not going to comment on either of the prices and whether I think it's worth it until I build it. Because the, for me, the proof's in the pudding. When I put it together and what it sounds like, what it feels like, that all will determine whether it's worth it or not for me. Hey, if the geek or guys need an EU proxy... I will sign that form and I'll proxy whatever they want. I'll build them all as well if they want, if that's the kind of quality we're looking at. Okay, yeah, commission is 4k for one. Yeah, 3.8k I think it is. So yeah, I think if you're buying multiple, it does drop the price down a little bit. And if you buy 10 or 15, it can get quite low. I do know Dixie got the same one as this, but I don't know how many people were in that group by the time. Uh, at the time, you couldn't do it ISO because the H87A I didn't know fit in that particular board, so there was no opportunity for me to get one at that point. But uh, yeah. We'll see, we'll see there. Uh, Key Cup versus J01 would be interesting. Well, I'll tell you what, they do knock out of the park. My boxing is not as nice. But then again, my boards aren't 4K to buy one <laughs> on their own. Uh, it's significantly cheaper. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's going to be different. Uh, but, yeah. Nathan Kim too, right? I, I don't know if Nathan got one with the brass base or not. I'm not 100% sure. I wouldn't like to comment either way. Uh, but he might as well have done. Sound test. Yeah, well, we'll come to it in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to build that either on the 5th or the 13th of January. I haven't yet decided how long I'm going to take as a break from build streams. It's either going to be two weeks, meaning I miss one stream, or it's going to be three weeks, meaning I miss two streams. All depends on how much time I want to spend with the wife and, you know, doing nice things. So, yeah. Okay. So without much further ado, it's time to move on to the actual build stream today. And this is what we will be building today. So, first things first, Mito and KBD fans laser on, uh, laser on switches from Gateron. Uh, 
<coughs> J01 is a different style board. It very much is. I think Nebula, you're the only person I know who owns both a J01 and a Key Cool. Um, so there we go. So these are laser on switches. I have lubed these with Crytox 205 grade zero. Um, and I have spring swapped them as well. I didn't like the laser on springs, I'll be completely honest. I've changed these to thick, thock, magically progressive 68 gram springs. So, yeah. Definitely looking forward to using these. So I got these, uh, these are prototype switches. Uh, these came from Mito directly to Brian and I, so uh, um, it's not the ones from the group buy, but they should be very, very similar. Uh, I'm going to be using some pink Everglide stabilizers today. I might need to grab another wire because that looks like 7U and I'll be building this at 6.25, so um, I'll grab some more wires in a second. We will be using the laser Kapura because it's the first time I've ever opened laser, so it's time for me to actually use this Kapura. And one of the things that I did ask as well is because the uh, the new polycarbonate canoe that we're going to look at in a second comes with a Bluetooth PCB that does not support ISO, I had to ask for a old PCB that did. So this is an ISO supporting PCB as you can see here. Uh, so we will be building an ISO today. And the other thing as well that uh, Fugui from Percent Studio sent me was uh, a nice red aluminium plate which is from the Honeywell design I believe. Um, so yeah, so that will be spare, I'm not going to use that, because what I am going to use is a nice carbon fibre plate, which I had made up as part of my last group buy. This is fixed ISO layout, and that's the plate we're going to be using for the build today. So there we go. Uh, thick Thock does seem to be pretty consistent in terms of its weights, yes. Come on to the board in a second, you guys have seen it before, this is GMK Laser, I actually opened this for the first time off stream earlier on today so it's never been opened before but it is laser. I'm going to have a look inside see if there's a oh, there is a design look. There is a design on the inside. Look, look. We'll have a better look at that later on. You guys have all seen laser before so we're just going to use a GMK laser for the build today. Okay. But I haven't opened this yet. This is as it came. Uh, this is I haven't seen this board yet, you guys are going to see this with me, same as all the other boards I've just unboxed. Um, I'd say I haven't looked at this yet, so uh, there we go. It did come in cellophane, I did take the cellophane off, but uh, other than that, the box is pretty nice. I wouldn't say it was key cut nice, but it's a pretty good box, happy with that. Okay, so I think what we've got here, well first of all some foam. Uh, so this is the Bluetooth PCB, and it's taped down. So I'll take that off. Okay, interesting. There you go. So uh, it actually says demo on it. I'm not sure if that's the designer or not. But it's got per switch RGB. Uh, no ISO as I said before, just ANSI. It's got the four LEDs up in the top corner for uh, the canoe. Um, kind of logo bar. The extended USB port we've seen before. I think that there is the switch for the Bluetooth which should poke through the plate. Um, let's take a look. So it doesn't on that one but I wonder if it does on the actual plate that comes with this board which should be inside the packaging I would have thought. Uh, but interesting, okay there we go. Put that to one side because we won't be using that today. And then guys, I'm assuming the board's going to be under here, so let's take a look and see what we've got. Oh, well, that was disappointing, but <laughs> there we go. Okay, there's uh, little badges, logos here. The uh, diffuser for the LED, just there. That's everything in there. Okay, so then let's take a, a look at the board. Again, we've got it upside down. Oh man, that's nice. That is nice. Okay guys, so this is fully sealed in plastic. But there you go, you can't see it, but there is the percent %60 logo on here as well. Man, that's nice. It's really light though, really light. Oh, 
ISO plate but anti PCB. Yes, yeah, so I think the plate actually comes and supports both, but uh, the PCB is only ANSI. But you can ask for uh, a non Bluetooth PCB if you want to. So, and if it, if you check the EU store as well, my keyboard EU that is selling these, um, both were on offer. So you could have either the Bluetooth PCB or the normal one, and it was just the same plate file for both. Okay, so this polycarb is really smooth. Some polycarb feels kind of gritty. This feels almost as smooth as the E6.5. The E6.5 is still the nicest polycarb I felt. This is a tiny bit rougher. Uh, but you can see it's still got the canoe logo up in the top corner. We will be doing some infill on that at some point, but not today. Uh, it's still got the LEDs here. I'd be interested to see how they diffuse and whether it shines around this whole area or not. Uh, in terms of the uh, the case it's just screwed straight into the polycarbonate there is no kind of brass uh, threaded inserts the weight if you want to call it that is still two pieces you can see where it still screws in uh, but it's very much just still polycarbonate as well with that nice percent 60 uh, logo and uh, design on there as well still retains the nice curvature on the back piece here I like that always been a fan as well as being able to get your fingers underneath the board there as well Pretty, pretty impressed with that. That looks pretty good. Hmm. What do you guys in chat think? What do you guys in chat think? It's very light. It's a lot lighter than the E6.5. Uh, what about Ramaworks boxes? They are really nice. Yes, they are really nice. Uh, I would say the Ramaworks packaging overall is nicer than Keycult's, but I think the box design and just what you're unboxing with Keycult is a little bit more special. Um, customized keyboard kit, yes. <laughs> it's the translation for Chinese to English, yes. Uh, what colour canoe? Uh, polycarbonate, as you can see here. We will be changing this plate out as I say, and we'll be putting the other one in. Um, I do think that the plate design is kind of different from the original one because there is now this bit's extended, so you can actually get the switch in here. So that's there is the switch for Bluetooth on and off and you can now access that just underneath the space bar so pull your space bar off and you'll be able to access it. I, I would argue that the space bar is the wrong keycap to pull off to be able to do that. I'd argue that probably your caps lock key or something that doesn't have a stabilizer would be better to pull off because you don't want to risk popping your stabilizer out just to flick your Bluetooth switch. Um, I'd be interested to see how a battery connects to this as well because it doesn't look like there's a battery as part of it. Let's have a look at that. Unless it's very, very thin, I don't see any semblance of a battery on here. Okay. Probably just a, a JST and a LiPo battery. Uh, well, I mean, I can see a JST out, but I can't see any way of connecting a battery to this natively. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are... I mean, this is the Bluetooth chip. That all looks very nice. But unless I'm absolutely missing something, I can't see a way of connecting a battery to this. So I'm not quite sure I understand how the PC works. Here we go, guys. Right, close up a bit. There you go. There isn't actually a JST connector in there, it just looks like where you could solder one on. Um, but then it's going to come really close to hitting your... Uh... Yeah, I'm going to have to solder the wires in, I think, to the battery. But there's no guidance on how to do that. And these aren't labelled at all either. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. So... Yeah, it doesn't have any guidance on what battery to use, it doesn't have any guidance on where to uh, connect it to or how to connect it, so that's kind of a little bit unfortunate. Uh, to the right of the Bluetooth on the board, oh sorry, yes, okay. Still doesn't tell you which way to do it, so I think this, what we mean is just hair, isn't it? But um, there's still no indication as to how that's supposed to be soldered or not. Uh, and there's no 
there's nothing in the box to tell me how to do it either. So yeah, interesting. Interesting. Uh, is there enough room in the case for a battery? Well, I'd be surprised if there was, but we'll, we'll, we'll come on to that and we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, when we've decided to put the board together, we can see whether we'd be able to get a battery under there or not. Brass weight would be a great addition, yes. Uh, Bobby McBobby says, is there any news yet of GMK retooled stabs? Not as far as I'm aware, no. Should be January, February time, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, uh, B2 looks like it was an afterthought rather than being designed around it. Yeah, it does feel that way. And the other thing I've noticed as well is this switch isn't actually straight. It's kind of crooked a little bit. So I'm, I'm really glad I asked for the non Bluetooth version, to be honest with you. Um, personally, because I've never used Bluetooth, and secondly, because well, it doesn't seem to be very clear on how to get the Bluetooth working. So I'll, I'll raise this up with the my keyboard that you guys, and hopefully before these actually ship, um, someone will come up with a way of getting these working with battery and have a bit of a guide for it, because it's not particularly clear right now how that's all supposed to work. But anyway, there we go. <clears throat> oh, is the directions GWiz? I've not seen any directions. There's nothing in here to direct me to go to the website either to say go and have a look at it. So, yeah, yeah, interesting. Interesting. Anyway, we won't be using that. I, I will probably give that away at some point because I have no use for it. But what we will be doing is building the board up with uh, the original style PCB, which is a new one, but it's a, the original style, and with my, my carbon fiber plate and the laser and switches. That's how we're going to build it today. Let's just take the board apart first of all and get rid of this uh, steel plate. So the first things I notice is we need a hex key for the base. There we go. So we'll just quickly take these out. Now with this being a polycarbonate board I don't want to over tighten these uh, or round them off so I'm going to be very very careful with them. The weight is PC, so it's not really a weight, it's more of an accent piece. I would argue it's not a weight, it's just an accent piece. It's a polycarb weight. No, it's an accent, it's a polycarb accent piece. You could put a brass one in, it looks exactly identical to a standard uh, canoe weight, so I'm sure you could put just a brass one in from a canoe weight. I'm not sure if you heard that, but that's my dog trying to get in the door. Drop and scratch test when uh, when you pay me for the board if you give me the money that this costs then yes I will absolutely do those things I would make uh, infill easy if you can remove the weight separately yes you can move the weight it's uh, it, you, it's dead easy to take out it's just, it's just held in by four screws so you could absolutely take it out to do infill uh, which I will be doing I do want to try infill on polycarbonate it's not something I've done before so I'm going to sacrifice this board to the gods and try that later on Okay. And for those that you don't recall, uh, the canoe is bottom mount, not tray, but bottom mount. So interestingly as well guys, so I didn't think there was inserts in this uh, for screws, but there are. So that's really good. There are, focus camera, there are little inserts in here. So I couldn't see those before because it looked like the screws, but there are threaded inserts. So big thumbs up on that one. I think we're going to need a different size hex key. Okay. We'll take the plate out. These are flush X keys. Uh, might have to take you up on that. <laughs> Hi, I'm new. I'm Jay. Welcome to the stream, good buddy. Dad jokes for the win. Go. 
and then we can take out the stainless steel. That sounded horrible. Okay, so you go, guys. You can see the uh, the. So the canoe is a bit weird because it is bottom, it's bottom man, but it's not tray. People ask me what the difference is. So the the idea behind bottom bottom mount and top mount as well is if you cut off the supports where you screw it in, the 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 plate itself would sink into the base of the case. Now this is true for uh, the canoe, and it's a little bit weird because the nubbins that stick out are here, here, and here on the bottom. Uh, so they, they go here. Now on the top it's a little bit different because the nubbins aren't on the plate, it's just one flat uh, portion to the plate, but the nubbins are actually on the board as well. So if you took out those and those, then you would be able to sit the plate right in the middle of the board and it wouldn't be supported by any of the surrounding edges, which means that's true bottom mount. If you took away all of those nubbins and then put the plate on and the plate didn't sink into the bottom of the case, like so, because that, as you can see, that is going to sink into the bottom of the case there, it goes straight into the bottom then it would be sandwich mount because you effectively the, the plate would sit around the edge like this and it wouldn't be able to be compressed inside it would just be sat and proud and lifted off of the bottom of the case so there you go so that's how you tell the difference between the two that's the board taken apart uh, the other thing i've noticed as well since my round one canoes is that there's actually some alignment pins now so you can see just here there's like a piece milled out and just here there's actually part of the board has been milled as well, which allows you to align it correctly. Not sure how well that's showing up on camera. Those weren't part of the original run of canoes, or certainly not the first one that I had. Um, so you can just push that all together and get it lined up nice and neatly, which is a good, nice little addition as well. So yeah, looking good. First thing I'm going to do, just before I forget, flash a minute because that's enough looking at chat. <coughs> I got boom boomered. Wow. I'm not old enough to be a boomer. I'm not old enough at all to be a boomer. <coughs> I'm just going to put the uh, the inserts. This is the diffuser. So this just goes into here. So I'm just going to pop this into place and then push it in. If I remember rightly, these are quite tight from the last couple of canoes that I've built. But we'll get it in place. Sure, we will do eventually if it'll fit. Come on. Well, it was easy to get this into the metal canoe than it is into this plastic one. Feels like the hole isn't quite milled wide enough. Come on. Last thing I want to do is put too much pressure on this and just damage the polycarbonate, so I'm trying not to. Slightly too long and slightly too fat. Typical. My wife was here, she'd be making a joke about how I'm not very practiced getting things in tight holes, but. There we go, and it goes in. <laughs> Gosh, that's tight. Uh, we'll be doing another round of carbon fibre requests on prototype piece. Yes, in January, uh, we will absolutely be doing that. Um, we will be 100% doing another round of carbon fibre plates in January. Uh, date's still to be confirmed, but it should be the first couple of weeks, and it'll run for a month. Um, Dyer's of Wilder says, Top has received a gift uh, from Dyer's of Wilder. Say, open to open. Okay, open. Okay, you don't know what that does. Uh, I think I'm going to lose my laser switches today since you're using yours. Nice, yes. I didn't know if the uh, the actual ones are chipped yet from the group buy, but I'm glad they are. 
Um, you have received a rare star pet. Oh, nice. Better TV uh, emojis. Nice. Thank you very much for that. Appreciate that. Uh, might have to cut it, Jay. No, no, we've got it in. We've got it in. It's all in now. <coughs> Hammer, yeah, uh, on a uh, on a polycarbonate case. Not not my idea of fun. Uh, everyone buy carbon fiber everything, please. Yes, we will be selling carbon fiber plates and any other files that you want to send me. So if you've got you know case bases or something like that, like the um, uh, the acrylic pieces that go on the bottom of the case, sometimes and you want them cutting carbon fiber, anything like that. You send me the files or you send James the files. We'll get in the group by and we'll sort that out for you. What do I think about the Polycarb M65B? Looks good, but uh, I haven't tried an M65B, so yeah, I'll have to wait and see. Opinions on steel plates? Too pingy, and I'm not a fan of the feel either. So, carbon fibre is by far my favourite. Okay, I'm going to try and get this on. I don't want to damage this mat because it's so nice. I'm going to try and keep all my lubing on, on this today. But the first thing I'm going to do now, before we uh, carry on with the build, is just... Uh, put together the stabilizers and pop them in the board. Do need to grab a 6.25U stabilizer. I'm pretty sure that's 7U. Yeah. Let's see, is that a 6.25U? There we go. Nice and easily done. And for this build we need one for backspace, we have to use full backspace, there's no other choice on this board. We need one for ISO enter and then we need our 6.25U spacebar. So in terms of that we're going to use our spacebar, we're going to use our backspace, and we're going to use the ISO enter. Then in terms of the housings, we're going to be using some pink Everglide housings, so here you go, you can see these are pink Everglide housings. I need two inserts there. I'm just checking these because I did have some problems with the pink ones previously where the front clips, where the Y clips in, weren't exactly brilliant and they uh, they were damaged already straight out of the box. So I'm just going to take this out. Uh, so I do just want to make sure that these wires are going to clip in and these aren't damaged. Uh, the last thing I want is ones that don't work. Now these are pre-clipped, which is a term I hate to use, but uh, basically what I mean by that is that these don't need uh, clipping, don't these stabilizers. They are designed to not need clipping and they've already removed those inconsistent cherry legs, the cherry pins. They aren't needed. Are the PC exactly the same as the older canoes? Uh, if so, it'd be nice to mix pieces. Yes, they are. It's exactly the same. So you could quite easily just mix pieces. You could mix top with polycarbonate bottom. You could shove a different coloured weight in there. You can do pretty much whatever. When I get around to putting uh, underglow on this, which I am going to do, I'm probably going to change the weight for my one of my earlier canoe ones. I think I've got a nice black one uh, that look quite nice on it. Uh, why didn't I put those in there? Is Everglide on par with Zeal Stabs? Yes, apart from the fact that the quality that comes out of the factory isn't always the greatest. The QC isn't great sometimes, so they do have some slight inconsistencies. Sometimes where the wire clips in at the front, just here, sometimes these bits are broken on, on these. But other than that, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference between those and Everglide stabilizers. So, uh, those and Zeal stabilizers, sorry. So, I'm just going to take my dielectric grease. Pour a little bit into the lid. Back on the thick stuff this week. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to put all of these together. <clears throat> so the way I like to do these is I prefer, personally prefer to lube once I've put them together rather than lubing them prior to that. But uh, I will loop the wires before I insert them. Whoops. April Keyboard said, Are those the best stabs ever? But they are pink and smooth. Um, Nebula, if you think Alp stabs are the best stabs ever, then, then I'm afraid we can't be friends anymore. <laughs> you know, I'm just kidding. 
Uh, but yes, they are pink and they are smooth. So yes, I would say they're pretty good. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, guys, is just lube the wires on these. So I'm just going to dip the wire into the dielectric grease. I'm going to do that on both sides. Try not to get too much on there. And then we're going to take the housing and we're just going to push them inside and then clip them into the front. like so. I'm going to do the same on the other side. There we go, that's one done. Then we'll do the same for the two U stabilizers. It's always easy to add more later on, so if you uh, if you are unsure, guys, don't add too much. Better to add a little now and add more later. Pink and Smooth is the name of my new girl band. Pink and Smooth is a good name for a band. I would approve that name for a band. Okay, there we go. Then we'll just quickly do the last one, and then we'll lube the slider rails in one second. Just about done here. There we go. That's those done. Uh, I can feel Jay try not to make jokes right now. Yes. So uh, yeah. Uh, did Nightbot win yet? So Geo. Um, so someone actually found the message, the giveaway message on Nightbot finally after two and a half months. Um, so yeah. Approve of the smooth jazz music, by the way. It's some random YouTube channel I found, but it's good. Catch with the Mort um, uh, Rick and Morty uh, reference there. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just going to put a thin amount of lube on the brush, and then we're just going to lube the side of the slider rails. And this is only going to be really, really light coating. I don't want too much on here at all. It's really light coating, almost taking off all of what you put on. Uh, this is a lot thicker than I usually like to use, so I'm only going to put a really light coating on here. go. I'm not going to put any more on my brush, There's still plenty on there, still coating nicely and that's all it needs to do. just realised we've missed the housing on the wire on this one so we're just going to re-put this one back together. Okay, Mr. Petrov subscribed at tier 2, thank you very much. He says, I love you, Jan. Thanks. I thought the Jan memes had ended, but thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, and thank you very much for the email, Mr. Petrov, as well. Yeah, nice. Nice work, guys. Nice work, gang. Don't give Petrov the credit. I'm going to give chat the credit. <laughs> okay, last one now. We're just going to lube this one up quite quickly. And then I'm going to find a wet wipe for my hands to try and get this lube off. And then from there, put the stabilizers in the board. And then we'll start to put the switches in. Then we'll solder. Then we'll do a sound test. Then we'll do the giveaway. In fact, we'll do once the build's done, we'll do the giveaway straight away. Okay, so there we go. That's that all put together. Why I've made such a mess with look at I don't know why I've done that, but I've just made a right mess and got lube everywhere. I'm going to have to clean that later on. Okay. I'm sure I've got some wipes somewhere. Here we go. There we go. 
Is that the 7 new wire, Jay? No, I changed it out for a 6.25 new wire. Is a small thing from the third level eleven give away a key hive nightmare? It's not, no, and uh, uh, and Vorno has already claimed it. Um, it's just been there in the chat for ages and ages and ages. It's a date with you, Mr. P. I would love that. I'd love. I'd want to meet Mr. P in real life. He's such a nice guy. I'd love to meet Mr. Petrov in real life. Uh, hopefully, one day we'll make that happen. But uh, I'm not sure when that'll be. Pretty sure this is a him, right? Or is it all like Zine? It's all like Zine. There we go. Is that what it in? Uh, we're gonna go for the ISO enter here. the 6.25U space. There we go. Okay, now time to screw those in. I don't really listen to it. Hark the Herald Angels sing. Whatever it is, I don't know. Hark the Herald Angels. Alright, whatever. Whatever. I'm concentrating on something else, guys. I did say he's not a him first. Which I'm pretty sure this is a him. Okay, it's one screwed in. Whoops. So end set. Oops. And then we'll do the backspace last, and then from there, whoops, we'll start to put some switches in the board and get it built. Die Hard best Christmas movie. Um, Die Hard. I like the meme that Die Hard's a Christmas movie, but it's not really because. For it to be a Christmas movie in my head, the theme has to be Christmas, and Die Hard just happens to be set at Christmas, it's not about Christmas itself. If I was going to pick any movie for Christmas, it'd be Home Alone, because you just can't beat it. Daft Prophet's there with me, Home Alone, yeah. Like, as much as I love the Die Hard movies, you can't claim that it's a Christmas movie. It's just not. It's a movie that happens to be set at Christmas, not a Christmas movie. In my head, that's two very, very different things. Okay, guys, there we go. That's uh, those in place. Just check that all the stabilizers line up. Looking good. Now it's switch time. And I hope I've got enough left over, because I've already promised one of these to... Um, AKB James. So hopefully there will be enough of these switches left over to send him one. Okay. Take a nice firm fitment into the PCB. Just gonna put one in each corner and then a couple in the middle. And then we'll see whether there, I feel like those need soldering before I carry on with the rest of the board or if uh, the rest are just gonna clip in. Good. Try and put a couple in the middle of the board now. Just make sure it's in the plate as well as 
in the PCB. It's looking good. There we go. So now we should be able to just start to uh, fill it out from here. Put the rest of the board together and then we can solder it. Uh, no, I have a machine gun, ho ho ho. Yes, good quote, yes, yes, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm serious about my Mephested machine guns. Nice. The Snowman from 1982 is the ultimate Christmas movie where I'm from. Snowman is a good film. It's very sad as well. I have to say the switches look good with carbon. Right? Right? Everything looks good with carbon. I should make everything out of carbon fibre. Absolutely everything. <laughs> you name it, they should make it in carbon fibre versions. This is where someone names something uh, really stupid. Uh, 707, these are laser on switches from KBD fans and Mito. These are actually the prototype ones that uh, Wei and Mito sent me about eight weeks ago and I've just only finally got around to using them. I actually got these before the group buy went live. Um, so yeah, or Brian did rather because I went to Brian first. Solid carbon fibre bottom key call. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do it. In before someone says something really stupid though. Non-keyboard related, like I don't know, uh, condoms or something like that. <laughs> Even carbon fibre. Where the top weighs twice as much as the bottom, yeah. Forged carbon bottom key cool. Oh, you could do that. Hajar, uh, that would work. I'm not going to read it out, but that would work. <laughs> is tomorrow the last day for the Gerald 1 raffle? Yes, uh, Gasp it is. So uh, the Gerald 1 raffle is uh, currently live on Novel Keys. You can buy tickets for just $5. It benefits the Sue Rider charity. 100% of proceeds will go to Sue Rider. Uh, and I will uh, tell you now that we have sold just over 2,100 tickets. So 2,100 tickets have been sold as of earlier today. Uh, probably slightly in excess of that now. So I'm really, really happy. We hit 2,000 during the Top Pack stream uh, early hours of Friday morning for me. So I was really, really, really happy about that, and uh, I almost, uh, almost, almost got a little bit upset, a little bit teary-eyed because uh, you guys have been so amazing. Um, the draw is going to take place on the 26th of December, and that will take place on the Top Pack live stream. So on our news show is when we will actually be doing that draw and tickets will stop being on sale tomorrow so uh, I'm not sure what time Mike is planning on taking them down but at some point tomorrow the tickets will go off Mike's store they'll be unable to be purchased uh, and at that point Mike will give me a total let me know how much we've uh, sold how much money we've made and yeah and then on the 26th I'll draw the winner and then mid-January the board will ship out to you so definitely looking forward to that Excited to add another one to the JO1 Owners Club. So whoever wins will get added to the JO1 Owners Club in Discord, which is a small but exclusive team for those owners. Yeah, 2100 uh, tickets is just absolutely crazy. Uh, so for everyone who has bought one, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I saw someone mounted the board with a condom. Swimming. They did, yes. That was uh, that was recently uh, a thing where someone had mounted the board with a condom. It was actually in this chat last week. I think that someone had done that. Zambumon, good afternoon, good sir. Glad to see you on stream. Three weeks on the trot now. Thank you, dude. Thank you for joining. Uh, will the drawing be live stream? That could be exciting. Yes, the drawing will be on the live stream. It will be on the standard Top Clack News show, uh, which will be on the 26th. So that is at 2 a.m. my time when it starts. Uh, so 3 a.m. for the rest of the EU, but uh, or, or later. But uh, that's 6 p.m. Pacific time in the US, which is when Top Clack airs each week. So yeah. We bent that pin as we were pushing that switch in. Come on. This switch is embedded good and proper. There we go. 
Just gonna straighten that pin out and then re put the switch back in. There we go, that's better. Unless someone who has one wins. Well, yes, that is an opportunity for, for you, Nebula, to get two uh, jail ones if you win the raffle as well. Uh, and then the final jail one is going to be sold in January for uh, uh, to the high, highest bidder. Uh, and again, 100% of all of those proceeds will go to charity as well. The same charity. So, yes, I am going to flip something for the first time ever, but I'm not flipping it for me. I'm flipping it for charity. So... You know, go figure. Complain at me if you will, but I think for a good cause, flipping is absolutely acceptable. Okay. Two in 2100 chance is pretty okay. Yeah, it's not bad odds. Uh, how long do I have to respond after I win since I'm travelling for the holiday? If it's someone I know who will want the board and I know them, then yeah, that's fine. Um, but obviously you have to win the draw. Uh, again, that one's got a bent pin. I'm just sure I just checked that and looked at it. Um, but yeah, I mean, realistically, I'd expect most people to respond within a couple of days. If someone hasn't responded within a week, then it'll get re raffled off to the next next person. I think seven days is pretty fair. I'm sure I checked this one as I put it in. Okay, what I will say as well is I didn't have any loose leaves in this pack of Gator on switches as well. So uh, I know some people have been asking about loose leaves. There was none in this particular batch of Gator on switches. <clears throat> Wait, can you redraw a paid raffle like legally? Yeah, if the uh, if the winner can't be contacted within a reasonable time frame, it actually might be twenty eight days, I think. Um, but because the draw is taking place in the UK, it'll follow UK rules on that. So yeah. Is my bank account a good cause? No, no. <clears throat> Talisman's flipping something right now. I hope it's flipping me the bird, because that'd be fun. <clears throat> the thing is, as well, even with the winner, because they've bought a raffle ticket, I have their address as well, so I could always just ship to them and see if it gets returned and um, go from there as well. That's always an option. Step caps as well, guys, today, because why wouldn't you use step caps? Why would anyone use anything other than step caps? Okay, almost there now. Those switches look damn nice. The switches look great, right? I'm really happy with these switches. And it, it, I didn't really like laser when it got shipped, and I thought I'd never actually use it, but these switches are what changed my mind and made me actually want to open the set and, and utilize it. So here we go. It looks like you are going to get very lucky, Mr. James AKB, Mr. GMK Alchemist, or Alchemy, sorry, because there are two spare switches. So assuming that all of these work, you have the switches that you so craved. PCB switches, yes, these are PCB mount switches. There you go, you can see just here, these are PCB mount switches. Okay, that's now everything put together in the board. As you can see, it's all nice, neat, and flush on all sides. Here we go. But those switches look pretty damn good in this, and I kind of like the pink stabs with the pink stems. It's looking pretty good. Uh, I'm going to try Gaspin. I'm going to try and infill it. Not on stream today, but I am going to try and infill that with something bright and pink to match laser. Uh, I'm going to see if it works. So yeah. Uh, this is definitely not James's first prototype switch. No, not, not by a long shot, because I've sent him about five already. So yeah. It's definitely not his uh, long shot. One of the other things I am going to do as well is one thing you'll notice on the revised Canoe PCB there's actually now pads for LEDs uh, and there's actually a controller for the LEDs as well now. So something I'm going to do is not use these LED pads but what I am going to do with Quer's help is I'm going to actually run some proper um, underglow LED strips on this as well to kind of get some nice underglow through the case. So yeah, there we go. Oh, right, okay. <clears throat> Risky Milk, yes, I've lubed these switches. 
these are pretty smooth. They're basically just the stock gator on. That's the easiest way for me to describe it. If you use the gator on black, it's pretty much what they feel like. Um, and uh, I've looped them with two or five grade zero, and I've chained the springs for thick thock marshmallow springs, uh, which are magically progressive and 68 grams. And then I've used 104 on the springs and 205 grade zero on the switch housings and stems. So there we go. So everything's in the plate. It's all looking nice and tight and even. So I think we're now ready to solder. <clears throat> okay. Are you going to add the LED strips on stream? Yeah, I'll do it on a stream in January. Uh, when I'm building something that's quite quick and easy, I will add them. Uh, what's the difference between the thick thock DL and ML series? I have the DL ones. Uh, deliciously linear, just straight linear switches. The uh, magically MP ones, not ML, MP ones are magically progressive. Now, they, they are progressive, but they're not progressive enough. So, uh, Kanye has just asked whether um, progressive springs are worth it. Right now, I'd say no. The the, my view on progressive springs is that they should be really, really progressive. So the more you press, the harder it becomes to compress them. And that should start off with maybe 50 grams to start to move them at the top and finish at like 120 grams if you really want to bottom them out. I think that's what progressive springs should be. Most progressive springs that are on the market today start out with like say 50 and then they end at 75. So you've only got a 25 gram difference between the top and the bottom of the press. I think they should absolutely be significantly higher than that. And you should be looking at some kind of um, you know, probably around 75 to 100 gram difference between the start of the press, the start of the movement, and the finish. That's that would be my view on them. Um, right, okay, guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this, uh, we're going to solder this together. And once I've soldered this together, we're going to go straight away into the giveaway. And I'll tell you right now what the giveaway is. So the giveaway is the NK65 that I unboxed earlier. A couple of people did guess that, so well done. Uh, so as soon as I finish soldering, I'm going to do the giveaway and I'm going to run it. Whoever's been talking in chat in that period of time, they'll be the ones that are entered. And um, yeah, we'll see who uh, we'll see who wins. But uh, I'm really excited to to give that away. <clears throat> so well done, whoever called that out. <laughs> Uh, so you can still win. Uh, the giveaway hasn't happened yet. All you need to do guys is just be active in chat over the next 10 minutes or so. Once I've finished soldering this together, uh, then I'm just going to run the giveaway straight away. Whoever wins, wins and uh, they'll get shipped to the NK65, the black one that I unboxed on stream earlier on today. Um, which I'm really excited about. I'd love to give it away. I can't wait to see who gets it. I can see chat's going nuts now. I can't keep up with that. So you've got a few minutes, guys. It's going to take me ten minutes or so to solder this. Uh, do you have an NK65 for yourself? So that's the, the one I'm giving away is the one that Mike gave to me for my personal board as kind of sponsorship for Top Clack, and I decided to give it away. He gave me the option to keep it as my own if I wanted to, uh, or to give it away. And I just thought it'd be nice to give something back to the community, uh, so I thought I'd give it away. Uh, and that will be shipped to whoever wins it uh, in January when I ship the IDBs because that's the next time I'll be doing significant shipping. So it might be a few weeks before you get it, but yeah, absolutely happy to give that away. Shoot, I was in the bathroom, what's the giveaway? The giveaway is the NK65 that I unboxed earlier on today, so there will be one lucky winner in chat right now who's going to win that board. Uh, as I say, once I finish soldering, I'm just going to hit that raffle roll button. It'll tell you in chat who's the winner, um, and I'll ship them it in January. Simple as that. That's how it works. Dead easy. No messing around. You can't turn it down. You're getting it. <laughs> and someone's going to have a really nice board. If you want me to build it, it is hot swap, but I'm happy to build it on stream for you before I send it as well. No charge. Just tell me what switches you want. If I've got them, I will give them to you. If you want to provide your own switches, if I don't have them, then that's fine. Um, and we'll sort something out from there. Active, 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 yes. I'd love to get the NK65. I have cream switches and I don't know what to put them in. Nice, well, yeah, the NK65 would be a great board for that. Okay. Uh, 
not too much longer left on the stream now guys so we're going to finish off uh, soldering this we'll finish off uh, we'll do the giveaway we'll fill, finish off building this board we'll do a J score uh, and then we'll close down the stream so not too long left maybe about 45 minutes to an hour I'll try and be as quick as I can Almost here on this second row now. Okay, we've got a bent pin there. I should have checked. I was too excited about telling you about the giveaway and I forgot to check for bent pins. Oh well. Oh well. It's only one switch. We can remove that quite easily shortly. Almost there, guys. Uh, the BX is going up at some point, but I think his goal is to eventually keep it as in stock. Yes, so Mike wants to keep the NK65 in stock. That is his plan. Uh, I'm not sure when he'll be able to achieve that, but at some point in the near future, I think. The hobby is now big enough where we can start to sustain things like products at that sort of kind of value and level being in stock. Another bent pin there. One thing I do find a problem with Gator on switches is that you can end up with bent pins quite often. So I've got two switches to remedy on that front. I should have checked before I started soldering, but hey ho, I was too excited about the uh, the giveaway. So you live and learn. You live and learn. Is the CU75 top or bottom mount? It's kind of a mixture, so it's kind of a top mount plate and then the plate bottom mounts into the case. So it's um, the, that's how the top and bottom halves are held together. You don't directly screw the top and the bottom of the case together, you screw the top uh, and the plate together and then you screw the plate into the bottom. So it's kind of like a top mount tray mount, but instead of screwing the PCB down, you screw the plate down. I hope that makes sense. Almost there with the soldering now, guys. We'll just finish off this really quickly. And then we'll fix the two switches that have got bent pins. And then we'll do the giveaway. Then we'll finish the build off. Fix the three switches with bent pins. I should have checked. I usually do. Don't know why I didn't check this time. Oh well. Uh, Vanstorm says, can I get a Kuroshiro review, wondering if I should look on MM for it. I really like the set, I think it looks great, so uh, if you like it, absolutely go for it. Um, I don't own it, sadly, it's not one of the sets I own, so I haven't seen it in real life to be able to comment on it, but from the look and feel of it, I think it looks great. I think with anything in this hobby, if you like it, go for it. If you don't like it, you'll probably be able to make most of your money back if you sold it anyway. Okay. Uh, when are you building the Clipper S? Uh, not sure it's going to be at some point in the new year um i'm hoping for an actual clipper s and a, a tinned as well at some point um i i'd guess late january when i do the clipper t um clipper s whenever i can get hold of one so i'll have a chat with leandra and see when we think we can sort that out ok 
Okay. Okay, just going to finish this bottom row, then we'll fix the three switches with the bent pins, that'll take a minute or two. And then we'll test the PCB, we'll do the giveaway straight away, we'll build up the board, we'll put some keycaps on it, we'll give it a sound test, we'll give it a J score, and then I'll let you go about the rest of your days without having to worry about the stream. I hope that's a good deal. Okay, last switch, apart from the three that need fixing. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to fix the three that have uh, bent pins. So one is here. Uh, you should swap PC and Alu canoe weights. I will do it at some point. Um, I don't know when, but I will do it at some point. Probably for when I do the um, uh, the second half of the stream where I put underglow onto the board. I'll probably do it then. Okay. And this last one, I think I soldered one pin on it. Yeah, so it's just here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to heat one the one pin that I've soldered whilst I pull the uh, the switch out. So I'm going to put pressure on it and then just heat that pad up, and then I should be able to get the switch out. Hold on. If I had a hold of the switch correctly, I would be able to. fix those and then we'll put them back in the board. <clears throat> uh, don't worry Jay, we ain't stressing, we just vibing. Okay, lots going on. Uh, comparison on showdown video between start cheap boards being an interesting video. I feel like they don't get enough attention. Yeah, well, that's fine. Are you never worried of your death mat while soldering? Yeah, but I have loads of them so I, I don't worry too much. Um, I kind of probably have somewhere in the region of about 30 or 40 death mats so um, if they get damaged, they get damaged. It's fine. I mean, I'd rather not damage them, but if it happens, it happens. It's my own silly fault for, for streaming with a nice desk mat. Okay, that's that one in properly. I must say, though, I am a real fan of this particular desk mat. Uh, I wasn't sure when I ordered it if I was going to like it or not, and then then it came, and I was like, "Yeah, this is good." I'm just straightening up these pins, guys, and then for this one, just as I'm inserting the switch, what I'm going to do is just reheat that pad just one more time, and then I should be able to push the switch home. My solder iron gets the temperature. So now I'll just finish off the uh, five remaining pads, and then I'll be able to test the PCB, do the giveaway, build the board, and go from there. Uh, here, and then there was one more just there. That's all now soldered together properly. I live for solder fumes. Yeah, different way would be nice. Yeah, I mean, I'll. Um, did the original PCB have some common issues? It did. The original PC canoe uh, had a PCB that was prone to failure. This is a revised PCB, so it shouldn't have that issue. I did test this out before the stream, but uh, we'll just now check it now that I've soldered it. Gosh, chat's going nuts. Don't forget the Joe won raffle, guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much for that. 
a PC case is worth it. Yes, says Ambermon. Uh, I would agree. Uh, let's get up switch hitter, guys, so that you can see it. Uh, there you go. Let's uh, see what we've got here. Okay. Just tell him that nothing's working at the minute. Let's just try it. Mm. It was working a second ago because it, my PC is telling me it's connected. Let's uh, try getting in DFU mode. Oh, here we go. There you go. Oh. There we go. Okay, there we go. Uh, typical PS2 AVR PCBs going nuts. We're just going to test all the keys, make sure everything's working. It's all looking good so far. Yeah, all looking good there. I was wondering if that would work actually because a lot of times on PCB it doesn't yeah that will just need to be added in on QMK uh, it's often the case for ISO PCBs okay all looking good that'll be the FN key let's just try it yeah there we go so all working there we go there we go. Right then, guys. So that is the PCB all working. All satisfied on that. It just needs programming on QMK for my particular layout at some point soon. Let's get rid of a switch hitter. Put up. There you go. You can't see that anymore. Okay, guys. So it is time to do the giveaway. So I did promise you as soon as I told the board together and we tested it, we would do the giveaway. Uh, the giveaway is for the NK65. Let me re grab that. So as I showed you before guys, this is the NK65, this is what I'll be sending the winner of the raffle uh, in a second. <coughs> It'll be this very board that you win, you will get this lovely carry case. All you need to do is be active in chat within 8 minutes of when I do the draw button. I think that's most people, 77 eligible users, we've got 171 viewers. so. Guys, if you're lurking, you've got a couple of minutes now to go active. Um, you'll get everything in here, the N65, NK65 itself, the PCB, the stabilizers, you name it, whatever's in here is what you'll get, the bump ons, everything else. If you want me to build it, I will build it for you and send it to you fully built. Uh, if I have the switches in stock, you can have them for free. If I build it, uh, if I don't have the switches, you can buy them or I can buy them, you can give me the money for them uh, and we'll do that. So everyone is eligible, whether you're a moderator, whether you're a subscriber, whether you're a regular, it doesn't matter who you are. Anyone in chat, everyone's got an equal chance. There's none of this kind of subscriber preferencing or anything like that. It's completely open. Uh, there's 109 eligible users right now. So guys, Priya says, if I win this giveaway is rigged. Fair enough, you ain't winning now. <laughs> I need a J build. Um, yeah, I will I'll do it for you guys if uh, if you so wish, or the winner can just have the board as it comes. It's entirely up to you. I say this was my personal NK65 that uh, Novel Key sent me. Mike was kind of sent me, and I just think it's better to get back to the community. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely happy to do that. Tidal, thank you very much for the resub, dude. I'm really happy to see that. Thank you very much. Uh, I don't think I've missed any. Mr. Petrov we got earlier on. Yes, he loved me, Jan. Yeah. Uh, how does one know if one is in on the giveaway? You've commented you're in on the giveaway. So you are in on the giveaway. Um, thank you, Tidal, for giving us the emote as well. There you go. There we go. So, um, 120 eligible users. I'll give you another 10 seconds, guys. So, guys, if you 177 viewers, if you're watching and you want a chance to win this board, you need to comment in chat to get yourself active. Um, and from there, I can press the go button. So yeah, most of you are <laughs> most of you are there. Uh, thank you, Santa. If I win, I'll share some love. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Get in the chat. Higher chance than Tehe giveaways. Much higher chance, yeah, because we've only got 200 viewers, 184 viewers now. It tells me that's going up. 196. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on, but more people are watching now. Probably because I'm about to do the giveaway and people are pinging. 
They need to be on the top like Discord. No, no, just watching the stream is good enough for me, and as long as they can reach out to me on Discord to give me their address, that's more than fine. Right, guys, so there's 128 eligible users in chat. I'm going to roll the giveaway uh, in about 10 seconds. So we'll start counting down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and the winner is uh, Demon AHZ. So follow up since May of the sixth this year. Thank you very much, dude, for following uh, and thank you very much for entering today. Uh, so he has won. He said WCF. Yes, reach out to me on Discord, dude. If you reach out to me on there, uh, you can get me through the top pack Discord. I will be able to send this board out for you. Uh, don't have to worry about postage or anything like that. Just uh, let me know your address and I'll send it in the new year. So there we go. That's the giveaway, guys. That's the giveaway. So, uh, so Demon has, or Demon H A H Z, how have you pronounced that? It's a Demon. Uh, he is the winner of this lovely NK65. So, congratulations, dude. So, well done. Uh, thorough congratulations to you. Uh, I hope you enjoy this board because it looks great. So, we will get that out to you in the new year. You just need to reach out to me on Discord. On Discord, send me your address. I'll get it posted out to you. Uh, you pronounce as you want. Okay. I'll yeah, sure. Um, cool. There we go. Really happy to do that, guys. It makes me makes me feel happy to give stuff away. So I'm really glad to do that. There we go. Watch the viewer count now. <laughs> Come for the giveaway. Hopefully, stay for the banter of the boards. Anyway, now we've done that, it's time to put the uh, the rest of the board together. So as I said before, this is a bottom mount uh, case. So we're going to pop all of this in. And this is where we'll be able to have a look and see if there is much space for a battery, because I don't think there is. So let's have a look. Whoa, yeah, there's a, about four millimeters under there, I think. You could potentially fit a small, thin battery in there. Okay. Uh, so where did that phone cable come from? This phone cable, I've used this on build streams for about three or four years. Uh, Max from Cable Car Designs, the wonderful uh, Max who ran the side for Goodbye, he made that for me. The phone cable itself actually came from eBay, but there you go. So there we go. Demon, I, I, I'm noticing you haven't reached out to me on, on, uh, on Discord yet, so please, please make sure that you do. I definitely want to be able to send you that board. I actually want the Bluetooth version. Yeah, I'm not going to be using a Bluetooth version. You want? I'm making you want to drink Coke, but it's 4 a.m. here. Well, it's it's 9:50 p.m. here, but uh, sometimes a little bit of Coke is just what you need, as in Coca-Cola. There we go. Anyone going to give me their rookie for Christmas? The Discord link is broken, by the way. FYI, top clack. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not quite sure why that would be, unless it's expired. Let me let me get a, a fresh uh, invite code. Uh, okay, there we go. I'm going to paste that into chat. There you go, that's a, a Discord link that will work. Are you going to put the RG strip, strip in tonight? No, not tonight. It's uh, it's going to take a little bit of reprogramming work to get it to all work. So it's going to be something that Quo and I do probably early in January on stream. I'll get him on as a guest. He'll help me build it. Um, now, I am tightening these up a little bit more than what I would do normally for a polycarbonate board. Not much more, but just a little bit more. And the reason for that is because this does have those uh, lovely inserts, those threaded inserts I showed you earlier on. So I'm not too worried about stripping anything because those do make a huge difference. Okay. I'm just going to do this one up so it's finger tight. 
and then just to make sure I've got the board fully aligned, I'm going to come over to this back corner. Pop that one in there. I'm going to make sure everything is lined up as neat and tightly as I can get it. Feels pretty good. I'm going to come back around here, just tighten that up as well. There we go. Just making sure I can't feel any of the gaps or anything else. There we go. more screws now and then we'll be done and we can get some keycaps on this bad boy uh, golden brick says are you going to put the no we've answered that one just sent you a direct message on discord thank you very much let me just check i got that yes i got that so demon i will reach out to you after the stream uh, and sort something out so merry christmas to you dude because well done for winning the giveaway you beat the odds to win Uh, does it fit just right with your CF plate? Yeah, the CF plate fits pretty well. Um, this is bear in mind that this CF plate is uh, uh, reverse engineered. It's not the original plate file for the board because it hasn't been released, so it is reverse engineered. Uh, but yeah, it works really well. Okay, there we go, guys. That's the board all put back together. It's all fitting nicely and flush. There's no gaps between the case or anything like that, and just the standard regular seams. Everything's looking good. So with that said, it's time to put some keycaps on, and I can finally, finally use my LASIK Kipura. Really excited about being able to use this bad boy. Uh, I've had it for a long time and not been able to use it. Okay, now we'll just get some laser keycaps out. Pumped when mine arrives. Yes. Uh, have I already shipped yours, Risky Milk, or are you going to order it in the in the other round? I think everyone else has got their from the last 400 or so plates that we shipped. Nice Pora, absolutely. Kapora is still my favourite sculpt. You'd put it on the top right instead of the escape. Well, I like to put it on the escape. Well, as far as I'm aware, this set does have Eucharist on the base. It does. There we go. Yeah, I forgot to say it, Talisman, but yes, thank you. Thank you. Uh, it looks so good with that plate and the polycarb. Yeah, right. Carbon fibre, polycarbonate, uh, flashy keycaps. Nothing wrong with that setup at all. I say, this is the first time that this laser's ever even been mounted, so. I'll be honest, I'm not sure I was actually a fan of laser at one point, I, I, even though I got it, I, I just, I don't know, a part of me looked at it and thought, well, do I really like that, do I not, and I could never quite decide. Uh, you guys do need to help me decide on one thing though, uh, do I use the the accent enter key, or do I use the blue enter key, which do I use? Take a pick, guys. Please vote. Accent or regular. We'll come to that in a few minutes. Uh, those switches look great on the carbon fibre. Yeah, right? Everything looks good on carbon fibre. We should make more things out of carbon fibre. Harjo says, is my Royal Alpha set on anything right now? It's not, actually. It's sat in a box at the minute because I haven't got a board to put it on. Um, so there we go. Accent, 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 accent. Everyone says the accent. Very few people saying the regular. Normally it's the other way around. Normally people want to see the regular one and not the accent one. Uh, we do need the stepped cap slot. I need to find out where that is. That's here. This feels like the music repeating, but it's one of those live stations, but I'm sure we've had this song before. It's old Lang Syne, right? Regular, so the Kippur pops. Yeah, it's not a bad shout. Accent could, could fit that Kapoor greatly though. Yeah, well, 
Do you know what? We'll go with accent because that's what most people voted for. And if I don't like it, I can just change it when you guys aren't looking. You've already got the accent key pour right. Yeah, it is kind of an accent key, right? Regular enter, ax, accent arrows. I don't think I have the accent arrows. They didn't come in the base, Zambu, so yeah, I don't have those, I'm afraid. I think that must have been an extra kit that I didn't buy at the time. I don't know what kit they were in, but clearly I don't have them unless I'm missing it. Nope. Okay. If I had the accent arrows, I probably would have used them, so to be fair, that's not a bad shout. Perhaps I need to look and see if I can pick those up. Um, okay, now I am looking for the 1.25U shift, and it's here. There we go. Most people have said the, uh, they're in the meter waves kit. Okay, that'll be why I don't have them then. Okay. Did you get Olivia Plus uh, Plus? I already had Olivia from the first round, so I haven't bought it as yet, but what I do intend to do is just buy the UK ISO kit and the dark kit. That way I can fix the UK ISO that was incorrect on round one Olivia, and I can buy the dark kit and have uh, the dark set as well. That's the current thinking. Okay. Uh, I think it was a 1.5 at that point. So, Alt. And control. Mm. No, perhaps I'm wrong. Perhaps I'm wrong. I thought that I could have sworn that there was 1.5 at that side. But apparently not. There we go. Okay. And then we want the 6.25U spacebar, which is this one. Oh, no, that's 6U. It's originally 6.25 then. What is that one? I thought this was a 7U. There we go. There we go. Okay, great. So that's the uh, the board all now put together. Let me pop these keycaps to one side. We've got the case on the other way, but there we go. Okay. The accent ISO enters really draw your eye in. Is that a polite way of saying you don't like ISO, dude? That's fine. That's fine. So there you go, guys. This is the build finished. Uh, we've still got the bump ons to put on. In fact, this board doesn't actually come with bump ons, I'll be honest. So, um, you get two badges, but you don't get any bump ons. And there is no bump on slots that hasn't been on any canoe ever for for this. So, uh, there is no bump ons. But I probably will put some on just in case I use it on a desk that doesn't have a mat. Uh, let's catch up with chat. Uh, that's a nice fat enter. Yes, absolutely. You snooze, you lose, guys. Okay. Regular enter accent is a mistake. All right, okay. Let me let me fix that then, guys. Let me fix that because people are saying that it's a mistake. Who said it was the right choice before? Typical people on the internet always want something different. Who'd have thunk it? <laughs> okay. That key set is nice. You're gonna do infill on this. I am gonna do some infill on it, but not today. Um, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the uh, the pink color and I'm gonna infill the canoe logo on top. Uh, and I'm also gonna do the percent, the tree, and the 60 logo on the bottom as well. I've never tried to infill on polycarbonate, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine, but we'll see. Much better. Yeah, I think that looks better. Looks really nice. There you go, guys. 
brand new key set for a brand new keyboard. There we go. Wait, yes, we can weigh it. So, fully built, the keyboard weighs 800 grams, which is, in freedom units, uh, 1.12 pounds, so 1 pound 12.4 ounces. So there you go. It's very light. I think the E6.5 is actually a bit heavier than that, I think. Oh, 1.10.8, so there you go. 1.12.4, so they're pretty much the same weight for the sake of a few grams of the same weight. Uh, but I thought the E6.5 was heavier. Don't know why, but yeah, negligible. So there we go, so it's very light. Probably be heavier if I put the... Um, Probably be heavier if I put the aluminium weight in the back of it. Yeah. So yes, I will put. I will show the infill because I'll be doing some underglow mods to this board at some point as well to try and get that glow. One thing I do want to see actually is how this lights up now. So let's uh, try plugging the cable back in. Oh, okay, that's interesting. It kind of gives it a good diffuse light. I think I need a new cable, but there we go. Oh, there we go, we just installed the drivers. There you go, I think it looks good. <laughs> it's the cable, guys, yeah, it was doing it earlier on with my other board. Yeah, I think that looks good. So, without much further ado, guys, it's time for a quick typing test to show you guys what we think of it, and then we'll do a J score. So, I'll just mute it really quickly, the music. I'll get up the J score uh, so you can start to take a look at that. Kapow. So, there we go. Um, so, we'll put the. Uh PC canoe in there, and this is using laser on switches. And it's a carbon fiber plate. Have a good spell. There we go. And uh, this cost me $284 shipped, which I think was a pretty good price. So there we go. Okay, so I'm going to do a quick typing test now, guys, and then you guys can let me know what you think. You can tell me how you think it sounds, uh, all of that good gubbins. Got a link for the phone cable. It's just an old phone cable off of um, off of eBay, and then someone converted it for me, so there we go. But it is really old as this cable now, because I use it, it's basically stuck down the side of my desk, so it's just been bent backwards and forwards quite a lot, and um, if I show you the other side, you can see it's just bent completely, so it, it, it does lose its connection sometimes. Can you turn on the switch LEDs? This particular PCB does not have in-switch LEDs. Uh, laser on switch is similar to linear, it's pretty much identical, yeah, just a different colour, yeah. Okay then guys, time to do some typing, let me know what you think to the sound of the board. Okay, so I'm really enjoying that. That sounds really good. Yes, yeah, so that's pink Everglide stabilizers. Um, carbon fiber really, really works on this board. It brings out the high. So the issue with carbon fiber is if it, it brings out the best and the worst in the board. So if the board is going to sound terrible, carbon fiber will really highlight that and it will sound even worse. The good thing about carbon fiber is that if the board's going to sound good, it's going to make it sound really good in my experience. This sounds great. So 
Stabilizers are Everglides, so that's a Duroc ones basically. They feel great, they look great. Man, I'm very happy with that. Very, very happy indeed. Uh, the switches feel great, they feel just like um, uh, standard Gatorons that have been lubed, so pretty damn good, pretty much friction free, they're really good, really nice stabilizers, very very happy with them. Uh, you know what that means now though guys, it's time for us to do the J score. So you can see that we've done the J score on a number of other boards quite recently, um, so the Matrix, the Doppelganger, SKB65, the Prophet, a Lin Whale, the Equinox, the Unicorn, and now we're doing the Polycarbon Canoe. So. Um, guys, the first thing to do then is to uh, go through the build score, then we'll do the home score, and then we'll do the work score. So in terms of the build score, guys, how it works, and it's the same for all of the scores that we do, you give me a score from 0 to 10 in chat, I'll give you about a minute to do that, um, and uh, then we'll see what you guys think, and I'll do it as well. So we'll have my J score, and then we'll have a community score on the row underneath. 10 is a great score, 10 means it's perfect, it's the easiest thing, it's the best thing, whatever the com whatever the good answer is to the, um, to the, the, the um, category that we're talking about, 10 is the best score you can give, 1 is the worst score, so there we go. Um, did you get this idea from Doug Demura? I didn't know that Doug Demura did anything with keyboards, I thought he was just with cars, right? So, uh, if he does something with keyboards, then sure, yeah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we're going to give it the uh, the J score and the community score. Um, so guys, first of all, I want you to give me a score on the ease of build. How easy was it for me to build this? Did I struggle in any way, shape, or form? Was it anything that was difficult to do at any time? Um, you know, ten means it was dead easy to do. It was the easiest thing in the world. I'd use the class ten as a hot swap board, and I probably wouldn't give it higher than an eight for anything that needs soldering. Uh, for me, I'm probably going to go seven point five on this because the bloody thing took me ages to press in on that one. So I'm going to put seven point five uh, into there. So yeah. You guys, give me a score in chat whilst I'm doing that and typing it in. Let me know what you guys think. I'll give you guys a minute or so. AKB says, "Put your claws away, Jay." What have we got my claws out for? What have I got my clothes out for? Don't know what you mean. <laughs> Sounds ton better than last week's build, despite also uh, being PC. Wasn't last week the unicorn? The unicorn was um, was aluminium. That wasn't PC. So yeah. <clears throat> okay, right. Let's see what you guys think then. Uh, so stop giving it a score for this column. Uh, so Tuxki started us off with an eight, and there's a seven point five. A couple of 8s and 9 in there, a couple of 7s. Talisman thinks an 8. Quite a few 8s, a couple of 9s, a couple of 7s. I think you guys are averaging an 8 here. Oh, a couple more 7s at the end. Asher says a 6. Not quite sure why it's so low. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so uh, I think you guys are a little bit higher than me overall. I think you guys are probably around an 8. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is the packaging. So if you remember right back to the beginning of the stream, guys, uh, anything with a 2210 timestamp and afterwards will count for the score for this one. So I thought the packaging was pretty nice. It came in a really nice box. Uh, try and show you that now. Uh, it came in you know, a fully branded box. It wasn't just a generic box or anything like that. Uh, I think it was pretty good. It wasn't as nice as the key cut that we saw earlier on, but it wasn't terrible at all. Um, you know, I was pretty happy with it. Nicely branded, uh, nicely protected. I'm going to give it an eight. I think eight's pretty fair for me for that one. Can't tap on that board because it's not plugged in. Um, right, okay, guys. If you want to stop there, let's see. Uh, let's see what you uh, came up with. Uh, the screw threads are lined. Yes, so we will talk about that shortly as well. Um, so you, you you wouldn't you wouldn't strip that away. So let's see what you guys give it for uh, for the packaging. 8 from 707, 7 from George, packaging is a 9. Okay, the Zambu's interesting because if that's packaging is a 9, what does that make stuff like Kekel and Rama? Interesting, interesting. There's not a lot of headroom on that, Zambu. Uh, a couple more 9s, a couple of 8.5s, a couple of 9, a 9.5 even, an 8.5, a couple more 9s, 8.5, a 7 from Kwama and a 7.5 from Tux. Interesting. So I think there's more nines here than anything else. I think you guys are overall going for a nine. Kikel is a twelve. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's it's, it's scored on a out of ten. So you know, 
<laughs> we'll see how that goes. I think you guys are a little bit higher on a 9, so we'll go with that. And then first impression, guys. So anything with a 10, 12, or a 12 minutes past the hour timestamp now, we're going to go for uh, uh, for first impressions. Uh, so if you want to give the first impression score now, I think the packaging does a good job and I can store the keyboard there after building it. So that's always nice. That's true, that's true. I just think there's, there, there is some stuff out there that's really good, like Rama stuff and the key clipboard that I unboxed earlier on. Um, I just think that's a little bit better than this and I, I need some headroom to give it that score if that makes sense. Um, yeah, but okay, you guys give it a score from first impression. First impressions for me were, it's a canoe, I've seen them before, I've got a couple that I own in aluminium. It looks good though because it's polycarbonate and I always like the look of the polycarbonate board. I've probably got more polycarbonate boards in the past few months than none. Um, I, I'm going to give this an 8 again, I think. An 8's a fair score, I think, for this. It looked good, uh, but it wasn't something I'd not seen before. So we'll go for that. Okay, guys, if you want to stop from there, let's see what we've got. Uh, it's taking a 12 timestamp here, so we've got a 7, uh, an 8, a couple more 7s. Uh, KC didn't have a ton of uh, double box filling. Okay, interesting. First impression is an 8, a couple more 8s, an 8.5. Uh, like we saw that one where the tape broke. Uh, I've not seen that one 10, so I'm not sure what you, which one you mean there, but okay, I'm happy to have a look at that. Six from the perspective of a customer, the default plate that the PC canoe comes with is universal stainless steel plate, so it will require to get you an aftermath plate, which is unfortunate. Yes, that's a really good point. The, uh, this is the steel plate, oh, so you can see it. Horrible material. It's not something I would want to build with. Um, they were kind enough to send me uh, another plate, which I'm not sure what I've done with now. Oh, there we go. They did send me a, a red aluminium plate as well. And if anyone wants this red aluminium plate and the uh, steel plate and the Bluetooth PCB, if you pay for shipping, you can have these. That's fine. I'm not someone, someone can have these, so I won't ever use them. So if anyone wants a Bluetooth PCB for a canoe, uh, a Thing, the steel plate and an aluminium plate just drop me a DM you can have it for the cost of shipping um, yeah because I'm never never going to use them so yeah so we go okay so I think on that one guys you were probably a little bit lower than me overall actually you guys are probably averaging a seven there uh, maybe a little bit lower uh, Jay Cohen said you could should do a J score on the NK65 build before sending it out. It could win the best value of any J score. Yeah, if if the guy who won it wants me to build it, I will absolutely give it a J score. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Yes. <clears throat> um, okay, so I think you guys, maybe you are sevens, eights, a lot of sevens in there. Maybe you are as close to me actually. Um, yeah. Okay. So sevens, eight point five. Talisman thought it was stratospheric and give it a ten. That's interesting. Yeah. That must have been Tehe stream. Yeah, it might have been. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I think you guys might be might be same as me actually looking at that. Okay, I'll, we'll go with an eight for that one. Uh, help if I was in the right app. There we go. Okay. So now we've done the build score. We're on to the home score. So in terms of the value, two hundred eighty-four dollars, guys, uh, plus seventy dollars worth of switches and two hundred dollars worth of keycaps. What do you think in terms of value for just the board? Two hundred eighty-four dollars shipped to my door. For a polycarbonate canoe, I think that's pretty damn good value in terms of what the rest of this community is like. Um, I'm going to give that a fairly decent score, and I'm probably going to go with an 8.5, I think, for that. Um, yeah, 8.5. I'm going to go for an 8.5. You guys get into chat and let me know what you think, though. Uh, would that extra plate be for everyone, or just because it's Jay? Uh, better at the scoring does not give you... Uh, okay, so... Uh, let me be clear, I, I got the aluminium plate uh, as a freebie, I did, but I had to buy the extra PCB that's in here because it, I bought the polycarbonate canoe from uh, Percent directly and that came with the uh, Bluetooth uh, PCB. So I've removed the cost of the Bluetooth PCB and just added on the cost of the non-Bluetooth PCB, which is what I've used, and that's where I've got my score, from, my price from. So if you looked at the other one, I think it was $308 or something like that, it was a little bit more expensive, so yeah, that's fair. Uh, I give this an 8.5 for value. Let's see what other guys have coming up with. Uh, 8 from 707. Karch says 7.5. James says an 8. Asher says a 9. Daft says a 9 as well. 
Okay. Zamba one says a 9 2. It says, and you can pre order one from my keyboard and not even care about taxes. Absolutely, yes. Um, I didn't have to pay any taxes on this, or I haven't had the bill yet, but uh, maybe that's coming in the post, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, by Jason's th thanks thanks for the carbon plate. Uh, uh, if you bought one and you got it, I'm glad you got it. There'll be another round in January of carbon fibre plates on my new store. Okay, so I think you guys uh, are pretty much up there in terms of value as well. I think you probably guys are closer to a nine overall because there's quite a few nines in there. Um, so I'm going to give it a nine from the community score. I think that's probably quite fair. Okay, jumping on to the next one then, uh, give me a score out of 10 for style, guys. So if you think this is really stylish, give it a high score. If you think it's not so stylish, give it a low score. How stylish do you think this is? So anything with a timestamp of 17 or onwards, uh, then we'll go from there. Um, my personal view on this is that it's a canoe. We've seen it before. When it first came out, it looked great. It was very different. It's probably a little bit on the old hat side, but I still really like it. Um, just from the side profile perspective, I think it looks great. It looks fantastic. I'm going to probably drop down to an 8 on this one for a style perspective. So we'll see what you guys come up with in a second. I'll give you guys another 10 seconds or so. Uh, Mac19, what's the most expensive keyboard you've ever built? Um, if I'm talking flippantly, probably the J01 because I had multiple prototypes for that. So by the time I actually got round to one that I was actually classed as acceptable, I'd spent a fair bit of money. Um, failing that, probably a couple of the key cut boards in terms of a value where it's probably been a couple of grand when it's finished. Uh, in terms of my personal board, my Alice with Nixies, that was probably my most expensive build to date. So there we go. Okay, so just looking at the scores here, you guys are a little bit lower than me from this one. It's clearly obvious. You guys are all in the sevens, even there's some low as fives. There's a couple of eights and a couple of sixes in there as well. Um, George says an 8.5, that's one of the highest scores there. Uh, Daft Profit says 6.5, so you guys are a little bit lower than me on this one. I think seven probably overall is what you guys are going for on this. So I think that's fair. Um, Zamba1 again says, I expected them to update the design a little bit after the revisions and add some bump ons. Yeah, so I'm not sure if you've seen Zambu, but there is a Canoe Mark II that's coming out, and, and uh, Fugui from Percent has offered me the chance to build one, so I'm excited to try and do that in the new year. Uh, but there is a whole new design coming, so yeah, um, there is a brand new, P uh, brand new Canoe Gen 2, but it doesn't actually look like Canoe, it doesn't have this kind of shape on it anymore, so it does look a little bit different. Okay, with that being said, it's now on to quality, guys. Uh, so 19 uh, is the timestamp I'm looking for in chat. Give me a score out of 10 on quality. If you think the quality looks great uh, and you liked what you saw when I was building it, give it a high score. If you think it's a not poor quality, then look lower. Um, I think for myself, if I'm going to say the quality on this, one thing I did really like is the fact that all of the uh, the screw points have got little inserts for them, so you're not screwing into the polycarbonate directly, you are screwing into uh, a threaded insert. Uh, the machining looks great, there is very, so even on the E6.5 we saw machine marks on the inside of the case, you don't see any of that on the PC canoe, there's none of that at all. Um, everything's flush and even, nothing is bowed or bent, everything fits nicely, there's no, uh, there's nothing out of whack in terms of the joints at the corners or anything, it looks pretty good. I'm going to say in terms of the quality, it's a solid 8 for me, it's a solid 8. <clears throat> uh, boy314 says PM the Discord, I want that PCB and LU play. Okay, cool. I don't think anyone else has PM'd me. If they have, uh, then they'll get first. If you're first, then you'll get it, boy. Uh, and we'll go by timestamps, whoever got me first, so. Okay, so give you guys another 10 seconds uh, just to see what you come up with in terms of quality. Uh, 7, 6.6, that's a good score, sorry, I like that. Uh, 8.5, couple of 8.5s there, couple of 8s. 9, the inserts bring it up. Yeah, the inserts are a really nice touch, and I don't know if anyone else has bought one of these. I know Zambu has. Uh, I was really worried that it'd be screwing into polycarbonate like a lot of other boards like the E6.5 does and the Singers do, and it's been really, really nice uh, to, to, to do this around. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really nice to have the threaded inserts on there, even if they're not brass. I didn't think it had got them at first, right back at the beginning of the stream. It was only when I took the board apart that I realised they were there. So, yeah. Okay, so uh, stop there, guys. Uh, let's see what you guys come up with for quality. I think overall, you guys are probably quite high up on there. Probably close to an 8. Um, yeah, probably close to an 8. Yeah, I think you guys are probably on par with me for that one, an 8. So, next one up then, guys. Typing sound. How did you guys like the sound of this one? Tell me. Go for it. Scores out of 10 in chat. Sounds 
sounds pretty damn good. Polycarb and CF is a dream combo. It does work really well together. It does. It is a good combination. Um, I'll be honest. I really like the sound of this. I'm going to give it an eight point five just straight off the bat uh, because I really like the sound of it. Okay, let's stop you there then, guys. Vogon goes for a nine, as does James. Uh, Grog says nine as well. Uh, Daj not keen on the sound. He says five. That's completely fine, dude. If you don't like it, you don't like it. It's five is completely average. Yeah. Three more nines, um, yeah, a couple of 8.5, 7.5 from Zambu, a little bit lower. Uh, 8.5 from 10 Strong. Karma says 8.5, as does Vinan. A1A says 8.9, getting up there, higher. Daft Prophet says 8.5 as well. Sound is a solid nine, a solid nine, okay, interesting. Yeah, okay. Uh, not a huge fan of Karma 5, but that's fine. Everyone's to their own, not everyone likes everything, yeah. Um, I think it just feels nice and it sounds nice. It takes away the case ping and stuff like that, but you tend not to get that with polycarb boards anyway. Sharp and nice sound, but the larger keys are a bit loud. Eight, that's fair, okay, okay. Okay, so I think in terms of the actual scores here, there's quite a few nines and quite a few 8.5s, so I think you guys are probably a little bit higher than me. I'm gonna say it's a nine overall uh, from the community, uh, if I don't click on the wrong thing here, hold on. Why have I clicked on that? What have I done? What have I done? There we go. There we go. So, uh, just looking though, there's some lower scores. Maybe you are the same as me, 8.5. Let's go with 8.5. Um, I think that's probably closer. Uh, typing feel, you guys are going to have to trust me on this one. It feels and types like a canoe, but a polycarbonate version. It's exactly what I expected. It doesn't feel terrible in any way, shape, or form, but it's bottom mount, so it's not as nice as gasket or top mounts can be, uh, depending on how they're implemented. Um, I'm just going to give this a flat seven. It's, it's good. Uh, it's better than average, but I wouldn't say it was amazing. Um, so I'm just going to give this a flat 7 for typing feel. Uh, you guys can't vote on this one, I know, so you're just going to have to trust me on that one. I'm just going to give it a flat 7 for typing feel. Uh, right, innovation. So in terms of this column, if you think it's really innovative, it's got new things that we haven't seen, you need to give it a high score. If you think it's not particularly innovative, you need to give it a low score. So let me know what you guys think on innovation. Um, just while you are coming through, it's a canoe. We've seen it all God knows how many times uh, there's nothing new here apart from the fact that it's a new material, but it's not even a new material for the market. I don't think we're seeing anything innovative here at all. The mounting system hasn't changed, it's still bottom mount. Everything still fits together the same way. It's still USB mini. Um, the only difference is it's polycarbonate now. I'm gonna have to be honest, I'd say innovation's quite low on this one. I think I'm probably gonna be in the region of something like 2.5. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go low on this one. There's not really anything innovative here. Uh, so 2.5 from me, which is going to hurt the board, which is a shame, but I think it's fair. Dukeski says, we trust you. Oh, that, that's brave. That's brave. <laughs> Trusting me to do anything. Um, Zembo says, they did change the PCB. That's true. The PCB is new. Even the uh, Bluetooth one is new. And even the non-Bluetooth one is a new PCB design. It's slightly changed. So it's a little bit more reliable. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Um, let's see what you guys come up with. Uh, one, one, two, three, five from Vogon. One, two, 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 two one. Lots of twos here. Four for Bluetooth says so 10 strong. Uh, Zembo says two, even though it gives the, uh, the PCB the heads up. Uh, yeah, okay. Give it a three because they offer a Bluetooth PCB. Okay, interesting. Okay, three for screw inserts and PCB. Okay, that's fair. I think you guys are, are probably a little bit lower than me overall because there's a lot of ones in there. I'm going to give you guys a two overall. The ones probably counteract the threes. Uh, and then finally, guys, the cool factor. Is this board cool? Yes or no? If it is, give it a high score. If it's not, give it a low score. Is it cool? What do you guys think? So we're looking for timestamps 26 minutes past the hour. Anything that you guys put in chat now, we'll go for this. Um, my honest thoughts on this is that back in 2017, the canoe was cool as hell and uh, you know people were spending thousands of dollars on them. I think it's aged a little bit now. It's not quite as fresh as what they used to look like. And because of that, I'm going to give it a flat six for a cool factor now. So, I'll give you guys another few seconds to come up with a score uh, for yourselves. Give it a minute or two. Right, let's see where you guys are up to. Uh, so 26 with the timestamps, James said six. 
707 said 8. Ten Strong says 3. Not a fan, isn't 10. Not a fan, that's fine. <coughs> uh, 6.5 and a couple of 7s in there. Classy said 8. He thinks it's still cool. Boy thinks it's really cool, says 9. He's just bought two of them, though, so he would think it's cool. Uh, a couple of 7s in there. Uh, Demons, uh, our winner of the NK65, says 7. Uh, PC is just not for me in terms of cool. Okay, that's interesting, Carter. I like that. I like that. Uh, good to see some interesting opinions. The mark of cool is tied to exclusivity, and it's not terribly rare anymore. Five from me, says Langolandia. Is that what defines cool? The fact that it's hard to get hold of. Interesting thoughts. Okay, so I think overall, there's a lot of high scores, a lot of medium scores, a lot of low scores there. So. I think that you guys are probably a little bit higher than me. I think it seems to be around a 7 looking at this. Because there's quite a few 8s, quite a few 6.5s, quite a few 7s. Uh, and there's even a couple of 9s in there. Um, Kart just 2 really drags it down a little bit, but it's just a one-off. So I think I think you guys are probably over, overall closer to a 7, I think. Okay. Okay, so that's the home scores done. Uh, we're now going to move into the work score, uh, and then we can uh, take it from there. So next up is practicality. So in terms of practicality, is this board something you can carry around with you? Is it something that's going to not damage very easily? Is it something that's going to slip into your bag nice and easily? Is it going to be practical for you to get it around and move it around? Is that going to work for you? It's really light, uh, 1.12 pounds. Uh, sorry, 1 pound 12 ounces, sorry. Um, whatever that was in uh, 800 odd. Uh, grams, I think it was not quite a kilogram, so I think it goes into your bag quite easily. You could put it in, slip into a sleeve quite nicely. I think, from a practicality point of view, it's quite easy to carry around. Um, it's 65% as well, so it's going to be quite practical for using arrows. If you're using certain bits of software and stuff like that, you can have some macro keys on here, whatever you need. It's QMK compatible as well, you can change it to QMK. But it is going to scratch really easily because PC does scratch quite easily, um, and it is. Well, the carbon is so plastic, so it could chatter or break if you dropped it too hard or anything like that. So, from a practicality point of view, I'm going to give it a solid eight. I think it's pretty fair, an eight. Okay, so, uh, oh, the, the the exclusivity thing has sparked some debate here. Um, <clears throat> I think it factors in, but it's not everything. Supreme, pretty cool then. Lol, that is such a cream consumerish way to look at cool. Maybe, maybe. It's not the only metric, but you bet they can be heavily correlated. Interesting. Does that make the J01 really cool because there's only 16 of them? If it does, buy a raffle ticket because they're on sale right now on uh, Novel Keys. Uh, <laughs> okay, let's see what you guys come up with because there's lots of comments here, so it's going to make it a little bit harder for me to read. So, 4 from 10 strong, but it's really light, so Demon gives it an 8.5. 707 gives it a 7.5. If the Bluetooth works, it gives it a higher score from James, gives it an 8. Uh, practicality zero because ISO obviously well you say that but ISO gives you an extra key so surely that's more practical uh, <laughs> that's a terrible argument I don't believe it myself so there we go it's portable but will require you to use a good case to make sure you don't scratch it solid eight uh, seven good layout and it's light it might get marks on it but let's be real Al you will as well uh, if I need a portable board I just get a cheaper plastic tray mount lol fair enough Okay, uh, so you guys are probably coming out uh, for 8.5668, 7.55, 7.5. So I think you guys are probably around about the 7.5 here. A couple more sevens, maybe bring it down to a seven, and then a 7.5, then a. Okay, so I think you guys are closer to a seven from a practicality point of view, which is fair. J1, uh, very cool, thank you. Oh, I love you too, Jeff. Thank you very much for your support, dude. Uh, your board's on the way, by the way. Is a raffle for right to buy or right to earn? So not even it, it, it's a raffle for uh, um, basically buy a raffle ticket for five dollars, and that supports the Sue Ryder charity. And the Sue Ryder charity is a hospice here in the UK, and they looked after my mum in her final hours earlier on this year before she passed away. Uh, so I want to do something to raise some money for them. So you pay five dollars, that buys a raffle ticket, and that five dollars then goes to Sue Ryder, or it will eventually when it comes through from Novel Keys to me, and then I'll take it to Sue Ryder and get a big check done, and we'll take some pictures and all of that kind of stuff. Um, and what that does is that puts your every five dollars you spend puts your name into the hat once to win a J01. So if you buy ten tickets, you get ten chances to win a J01. If you buy a hundred tickets, you get a hundred chances to win a J01. If you buy one ticket, you get one chance to buy a J01. Uh, to win a J01, sorry, not to buy it. So whoever gets drawn out of the hat at the end, they will win the board, and they'll have just paid five dollars for it. And that's it. Just five dollars for that board, and it will have it shipped to them. 
uh, for free and everything else. So there we go. Um, and yeah, there's only 16 of them in existence. Uh, there won't be any more built with the same style. It will change significantly if I'm going to build any more of them or make any more of them. Um, and yeah, it's fully gasket mounted. It's fully, you know, you can check the old build streams for it and everything else. Um, but we've sold about 2,135 tickets as far as when the stream started. So if you buy one ticket, you've got one in 2,135 chance of winning. So there we go. Um, there have been some people who've bought lots of tickets. The largest holder of any tickets that I know of holds 120 of them. So. I don't know of any more than that. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's what we're up to. Anyway, guys, we need to move on and give it an office acceptance score. So if this was in your office and you took this to work with you, bear in mind uh, everything about the board. It looks, if this was sat on your desk, is it going to be accepted in the office? Don't go about sound, because we've got sound next. This is literally just about um, if this board sat on your desk, would it be acceptable? I think it'd be fine. Uh, I'd probably put black on white if it was taken into the office. I think it'd be fine. Um, I think it's okay for the office. I don't think it's anything too out of the ordinary. Um, yeah. I think that's absolutely fine. I'd give it... I'm going to give this a fairly solid score of 7.5, I think. Uh, it's not the most office friendly, because I think a black TKL will be the most office friendly. But I think this is fine. I don't think it's unfriendly for the office. Especially if you put something like black on white on it. People are just going to see a plastic keyboard and they're going to leave it at that. And if you don't know about plastic keyboards like polycarbonate, you don't know what it's worth or anything like that as well. Okay. Excuse me. <clears throat> So I give you guys another five or six seconds to come back in with a score. Uh, my office accepts anything I bring except for the ping master. <laughs> Ten for acceptance of mine, fair enough. Uh, it would be really interesting, but it's not gaudy or loud. I'd give it an eight. People would notice this, but I wouldn't be obnoxious. Um, I, I assume you mean loud in terms of look rather than noise, because we'll come on to noise la last. Noise and volume is the last one we do. Um, I asked for tickets as Christmas gifts. Oh, bless. I have one ticket. Vinan... That means the world to me, thank you. Pay to win. Well, I mean, it's all for charity, so the way I look at this is if you give him $5 for charity, you're giving $5 for charity. If you so happen to win a board, so be it. If you want to give $120 to charity, you want to give $120 to charity. If you want to buy 10 tickets and give $50 to charity, that's it's going to charity. That's what it's for, right? It's a way of donating to charity. And what I'm doing is that I'm incentivizing people giving to charity. That's all it is. So if you win the board, then look at you, but it's not pay to win, is my view on it. It's pay to support a charity. Um, okay, so lots of high scores here. 9, 4, 8, 10 couple of nines, couple of sevens, couple more sevens, couple of eights from Ashley and Zambu, uh, a couple more five from ten strong. Did you get Mizu? Did you get? I did, yes. Uh, Mizu is here, we unboxed it earlier on, on stream. I can slide this out, there you go, there's Mizu. There we go. Okay, so I think you guys are probably overall giving it a higher score than me. I think you're easily within the eight, so I'm just going to give it a straight eight for that one. And then the final score, guys, that you need to give me is on noise and volume. So bear in mind, I'm quite a heavy typist. last score you need to give today guys I think it's it's fairly loud but it, it's not overly loud and this is basically just on the height of the volume it's not on anything else if I'm talking I'm typing is it going to distract you would you not be able to hear me talking just because I'm typing is it going to get in the way of that or is it going to stop office communication or anything like that that's how you need to think about this one it's just in the terms of the volume not the actual quality of the sound or how good it sounds I think I'm going to be honest, I'm going to think this is its fairly loud, it's not a quiet board, but it's not obnoxiously loud. I'm going to give it a 6. Straight in the middle, 6. Well, not quite in the middle, but just above that. Okay. Sounds like any plastic case. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's see what you guys gave it then. Uh, we'll stop the scores there, and then we'll see how it fares. Uh, 7, 5.5, 5, 7, 6, 4. I was talking while I was typing 10. Um, seven, couple more sixes, 6.5, 6, 7, 5, 
seven, six point five. Okay, so you guys are a little bit higher than me because there's there's quite a few sevens in there as well. So I'm gonna go six point five for your guys' score, I think. There we go. Okay, so that is the J score finished for the polycarbonate canoe. And um, where does that put us? It means that uh, I gave it a score of 72% out of 100, and you guys gave it a score of 73% out of 100, which means we both give it a B score. Uh, this was exactly in line for me as the Equinox. I scored it pretty much the same, uh, and it's pretty much the same as what you guys scored the Lin Whale that we built a few weeks ago, which was, funnily enough, also a polycarbonate board. Uh, still means that the worst scoring board overall is the SKB65 which is a little unfortunate because the value of that board does make it a really good worthwhile buy uh, but this puts this board firmly in the B category so there we go B at 73% there we go <clears throat> Uh, so, so the way it works, popping is if you think it's quieter, then you give it a high score. If you think it's louder, you give it a low score. So you always give the better answer a high score. That's how it works. Okay, so there we go, guys. That comes out with a B. Uh, I need a, I need a hot take. I'm not sure I have a hot take for this board because I think it's just a, f it's just a canoe at the end of the day. It's just a, 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 a canoe. So, Mr. Petrov, someone's already found the secret giveaway, and it was been there since the 3rd of November. Uh, someone already found it. Just a canoe. It's nothing special. It's just a canoe. There we go. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, it's already been taken. Plastic cake pot is plastic. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put that in brackets. Mr. Petrov. Uh, plastic keyboard. is plastic there we go um, I do like that there we go needs bump on cutouts it does need bump on cutouts if it, I'm surprised it hasn't had those milled into it by now I'm surprised the design doesn't have those there um, so yeah so yeah. if you guys want to check out the J score at any point you can do so using this link uh, if you just hit J score it will give you the link and you guys can go check that out and, uh, and see that live I'm gonna take that off a stream now um, so actually, so so I put uh, on the giveaway command. I put a secret giveaway command on there back in uh, November, the third of November. I put a command on the, on the command. I put a bit of a note saying, if anyone finds this, you get a small prize, and it is a really small prize. It's basically a, um, a few top pack goodies, a key cap, and some stickers, and a few other bits and pieces. And uh, Vorno earlier on actually found that message, first person to find it in six weeks. So he wins that little prize. Uh, the actual giveaway that we did on stream today, though, was for the the NK65 uh, which uh, Demon won uh, so that will be shipped out to Demon in the new year Demon if you want me to build it or anything we'll have a chat about it and we'll sort that out um, but yeah absolutely happy to uh, to get this over to you at some point in the new year as well so there we go guys um, we'll be heading out now in a few minutes uh, thank you very much for joining us today it's been a great stream I've really enjoyed that um, I hope you've enjoyed it too. There's lots of unboxings earlier on, lots of other stuff going on as well. Great fun to do the giveaway as well for Christmas. I hope you all have a really, really good Christmas. I hope you all have a great new year. Um, I hope you'll come and join us on Top Clack next Thursday, which is Boxing Day. Um, and we will do the J1 raffle entry. So this raffle that you can see down in this bottom corner, we will draw that live on stream uh, and someone will win a J01. Demon, thank you very much for the sub, man. I appreciate that, dude. It's sub with Twitch Prime, thank you. Um, and yeah, I hope you all have a great time with your family, friends, whatever you're doing uh, over the Xmas period. I hope you really, really enjoy yourselves. Um, eat, drink, be merry, do whatever you need, and merry, merry festive period, Christmas, whatever it is for you. I hope you have a good one. I'll see you again soon, guys, and uh, if you want to hit me up, please feel free to do so on Discord, daytime, any, uh, any time of day or night. I'll get back to you when I can. And go and check out GMK Alchemy as well, because that's now a thing, and we're going to be running that. So, take care, guys. I'll see you later. Thank you very much for joining the stream. Goodbye.